is I got the two different OBSs. One of them just goes to Twitch, one of them goes to YouTube, and I gotta remember which one's which, because if I mess that up... <laughs> it's easy. One, is, one says Streamlabs, one doesn't. No, one says Streamlab. Oh yeah, you're right. It's stream, they both say OBS. But it it doesn't say YouTube stream lab, YouTube uh, OBS and Twitch OBS. It's Streamlabs. Hey, Decker, Decker, you're live. Oh, hello, worldwide web. I'm Decker Shadow, United Personality Best and welcome to Live and Wired, episode eighty four. The dog is crying. That's not the name of the video, by the way. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Come on, Lou. Come on. Come on. Have some feeling. You should Lou? know by now that she won't do it when you want her to. Lou. Yeah, she's Lou. like a cat. Lou, come on. Meow. Come on, Lou. Get your doggy butt over here. Get your doggy butt over here. My cat oh, is demanding oh. pets. You know, now that the stream is dirty, <laughs> she wants pets. Oh, by the way, um, Untapped Hip Hop TV goes, Peace Decker, a longtime viewer, first time commenter. I have a question about being the internet personality with the best hair. Do you see any other personalities as a threat to your title? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, beat him up's wood. He's in Texas. We could battle from because from a properly there's... safe six feet wearing masks. But still. Say, why, don't just, why don't you just get some robots to fight for you? You know, like Rock'em Sock'em robots or battle bots. <gasps> you could get Blendo. What was that movie starring Hugh Jackman? That Iron had something or other. It wasn't that. It wasn't as good because of that annoying but, ass king. But 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 Woodhawk, he's always there, like half flip on the subscribe button. No, you motherfucker. <laughs> you took your idea. <laughs> I never had that idea. He had a better idea than me. But the point is, <laughs> um, I could have had that idea if I had another five years to think about it. Yes, CGM CGM five D. I am still knitting. I haven't knitted since my last D and D session. Lou. I'm starting to worry that that's whatever it is she's knitting maybe takes Oh, it's life. a doggy butt right here. What, mm -hmm. is, gonna, is doing what? It's, it's taking on a life of its own. Yeah. It's or taking only over almost, life. It's only oh, yeah. like... Good news, feet. we got her to stop eating cat poop. <laughs> but you had a free easy way to clean up the kitty litter, Decker! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Dog just no, no longer eats cat poop. <laughs> So, yeah, Thick Black Daddy might not be here tonight, uh, but we have Lou. And, and she is, she's gnawing on my hand. Here's Lou. Here's Marshmallow a refuses to come into this room. Here's a Lone Dragon Cat Poop Not Tasty. No. It is not a snack bar. Ow, Lou, ow. You, you're biting my arm kind of hard there. Ah. <laughs> Do I have to go get my cat? I will go get my cat. <laughs> This is a dog. Do not think I will go and grab Marshmallow and that's it. That's it. <laughs> she is so cute. She is yes, so I'm cute. Yes, I'm adorable. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Be right back. I'm angry. All six Transformers movies? Oh, God. That'd be something. Does that count as horror? Because a lot of people seem to get upset whenever I deviate at all from horror. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a little frustrated at that because it's like, my, my whole thing is... I just, you know, want to review whatever the hell I want. But also, I want to keep the channel healthy. And uh, you, YouTube's all about, hey, if not enough people watch your videos, we're just going to stop sending your videos out to people. So, yeah. Uh, that's that's a lot of fun. You didn't even come out. Oh, too bad. Uh. Ow! Rise of the Planet of the Pets. Okay, it says, once more with feeling. It is the new year. It is 2021. And I might not be the only person here who, at the clock striking midnight, shouted out, fuck you, 2020, you can't hurt us anymore. I yelled at the monkey. <laughs> anyway, cat. Yeah. Yeah. Siamese cat, no less. I'm a lay in Siamese cat. Thank you very much. Noted. It's the fluffiness. Also, um... Hilarious... Someone drew this hilarious uh, picture for and posted it online. It was a, uh, a family was celebrating 2021, and it showed a Viking barge with the number 2020 uh. floating <laughs> at the fire. And a woman was handing an arrow with a stick of dynamite at the end of it. And was saying, Tara. <laughs> Tara just came in. That might be a problem, because Lou likes to chase Tara. Hey. 
Marshmallow, say hi to the audience. Just headphone warning right away. There's going to possibly be some uh, barking. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's a big kitty. No, she's not. Oh. They got oh, a mustache. She's really, oh. she's ah, really small, ah, actually. Ah. She's much smaller than Fleur. If you... ah. I'm just holding. Ah, just... <laughs> no, come on. No, come on. I need that headphone cord. <laughs> She's so flexy. Ah. She's my favorite kitty. Okay. Do you not like me holding you, Marshmallow? You can, ah. you know, you can say stop anytime. You usually hate it when I hold you and start showing you off to friends. Okay. You I'm see still personality connected. Right. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Like the best there. Lou, yes, you do. Be, be good. I know Tara's there, but you don't have to go chasing after her. She's family. <laughs> Lou, like the moment the pets got involved. <laughs> Lou, no, no fussing, no fussing, Lou. Anyway, we got entertainment news for you. I think. She's, she's oh, always. Oh, Do you want me to give the news that I I told you earlier today, real quick? Uh, well, sure, because I can't remember what it is. Uh, about uh, okay, so it's YouTube news. It's concerning me. Remember? We oh yes, that? yes, yes. I actually have that. Uh, so semi updated in the description, not really updated in terms of description, but it updated in terms of where the link goes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. yeah. Okay. So, um, here's the cat here. for those of you who don't know, my uh, channel was deleted at the start okay. of December, okay. December first, actually. So after that, I found out later, however. So everything, you know, my main channel is gone. It's it's not disabled. It's not on hiatus. It's gone. They wiped everything out. YouTube wiped everything Lou, out. Hey, no chewing on the laundry basket. Like I said, all uh, this live stream went downhill the minute the pets got involved. <laughs> is it safe to talk again? <laughs> Probably, but she might start barking at Tara. Uh, so what did I miss? Sector. Here's an idea, Decker. Why don't you put the dog and the cat out of the room? Because then they whine that they're not getting attention. Well, I, if I put Lou in the kennel, then she just cries for three hours, and everyone's here like, Decker, you have to take care of that dog. You're abusing that animal. I'm like, I'm not abusing the animal. She's got a nice nice liner in there. She's got a toy. She's got little rawhide shoes. Does she have She's a just sad to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Why does everyone say, "Hey, cat, tell Becker"? Okay, hey, cat, no. ask Becker if he'll do a Paul Walker remembrance review of some of his movies. Who's Paul Walker again? Uh, Paul Walker, I believe, was yeah. He was the uh, he played Michael in Tammy and the T Rex. Ah. Oh. And when I was doing my little research, I went over to you know check who played who and everything. I was just yeah, okay, I'm Michael, Paul Walker, and I check on Paul Walker, make sure the, the guy looks correct and everything. And I notice he looks very close to what he did in the '90s. And there's a little mark on his bio that said, you know, died age 40. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> and so, what's going on with Decker? A creepy's channel. I was out taking care of the cat. Uh, Midnight Wing Theater is still there. I know that! So, yeah. All of, so, like, my main channel, which had, like, G and PG rated content in it, yeah, that was deleted. The channel that had the, uh, Stop show where gay guys kept having sex with, stopping the plot to have sex with each other, <laughs> and where I was reviewing the softcore porn on, that's still around. I don't understand you. Maybe because there's not really major copyrights on porn? Lou? Actually, no. One of those videos that I reviewed did get a, did get a block okay. more wide. Uh, oh, it's, it's yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't a copyright strike, but it did get blocked worldwide. Is there the one which has Keith David in it and he's not the stripper? Like, everyone assumes when I say Keith David is in a movie about a, about a, stri <laughs> about a stripper serial killer, and then when I yeah. say no, he's not one of the strippers, they all go, aww. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that one. It was, um, I think it was like Hidden Beauties. I think oh, it was, it was the one creepy. about that. It was the it was the creepy Cinder. It was the creepy Sleeping Beauty kind of modern spin thing. Ah, oh, that gave the weird rapey undertones. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Who's Keith? Yeah. Lou, you that said one no. Blocked. We can't have Southern Yankee. We considered doing a uh, corn hub account, if you will. But then the corn hub news happened. Well, you yeah. have to be, you have to be I verified on corn hub. I was coming. <laughs> it's like they heard. <laughs> 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 
We don't want the man review. Legitimately, Cornhub should let at least a couple channels be like, we review porn. We're not going to review the porn on Cornhub. We're just going to review other porn. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I heard about that. And it was like, it's like they saw me. They did. They did. There were some channels there where they did Let's Plays of games. <laughs> oh, of, a, of an adult nature. That yeah. were also Flash. R.I.P. Flash. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pour one out for Flash. No. It's okay. This again. This I literally be right before the stream, I took her out and she peed. So, <laughs> why don't you just teach her how to pee in the toilet like they do with cats? Actually, he tried that with Tara, I think. But instead of peeing in it, she would watch the water. No, I didn't try okay. anything. She just was like mesmerized by the sound of the flushing toilet, and she just hop up and take a look. Like, wow. <laughs> Water going around in circles! <laughs> Oi. Oh, uh, yeah. Lone Dragon, I have no clue what Decker watches on his internet history. He won't let me anywhere near it. Yeah. So I have no clue if you watched that trailer that he sent you money for. Yeah, yeah. I sent the link to him. I, I've been, uh, uh, okay. I've been Char Charlie's telling me, walk your damn dog before she poops herself. Uh, fine. I'll be right back. Just, we'll yeah. talk about um cheese. <laughs> Blue, I think cheese out of the Oh no, wait, that's my like for, for, for the record before we get into a conversation about cheese. <laughs> which is a statement that I just said out loud. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> that was not something geez. I woke up in two thousand and twenty one and thought I'd be saying this quickly, but here we are. But um, yeah, I thought I thought we were over the conversations about cheese after we did the Nightcrawler review, <laughs> the review on the Nightcrawler episode. But here we are. Anyway, um, uh, Lone Dragon. Uh, I did bring up that movie when I spoke to Decker privately earlier today. Uh, yeah, Decker and I were having a conversation about the channel and so forth and a few other okay. things which we'll talk about later. But long story short is I did bring up that movie and now that it's 2021, I will be wow. haranguing him to do a review of the movie itself. I will, um, it's probably not going to be like this month. It may not even be next month. The reason being is that Decker has a backlog of movies that he has told me he wants to try and do because these were movies he meant to do in October and in December that he never got around to doing, and he wants to at least do those. So it is on the list. It is coming. You know, I apologize for how long it's taking. Um, Life uh, is a bit. Kind of, things kind of, there was kind of a kerfluffle for both of us, you know, when my channel got deleted, but we're working on that, and uh, we will. It, I do remember it, and we will get to it. Yeah. So I'm thinking that maybe sometime in March. Awful. That's a nice word to say about what happened to your YouTube channel. I would just say fucking nuked. Fucking nuked. Let's go with fucking nuked. It makes the Megaton Blast in Fallout 3 that you can do look not tiny. Actually, I'm, re I'm reminded of that song from uh, Carol and Tuesday. Fucking bullshit. bullshit. Oh, oh wait, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that other way. We only did five seconds, YouTube. You can't copyright claim us, bitch. <laughs> yeah, because that worked so well when I... <laughs> yeah, because I remember... So I was doing my stream today of doing Vampire the Masquerade, right? And we somehow accidentally started singing because it's me and another person. And basically, he's there to help me make sure I focus while mm -hmm. playing Bloodlines. And we accidentally started seeing this as Halloween because it's a very creepy game and has that very spooky atmosphere. And then he's like, oh crap, we were singing it. We're going to get copyright claimed by Twitch. I'm like, we only did five seconds. Although with automatic copyright, they don't even care about the 10 second, 10 second grace period anymore. Right. So it's like, crap. Oh, speaking of that, my friend who is doing the Vampire the Masquerade thing has just messaged me with pictures of his cats. <laughs> He does this random. He's like, picture of cat. Hello. Uh, there is no uh, law about the couch staring at me. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Many things. He be he decided to review things on the internet and become an internet personality. That's when he started screwing up. When I started screwing up, it was when I was eight years old and I decided to be an artist. <laughs> That's where I messed up. So. I think we're through that part. Yes, and the scarf is not taking over my life, I promise. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just... 
The length of the scarf suggests otherwise. It's five feet! That is actually a very good length for a scarf, thank you very much. An average scarf is twice your height. If you're cosplaying as a Doctor Who character. <laughs> no comment. Oh, no I, comment. Did, I have I have watched the uh, season 11, I think it is, of the new Who uh, serial. Um, you know, the, the first season with uh, Jodie Whittaker. I don't want to talk my feelings about it because I know certain fans of Doctor Who will get mad at me. I don't hate it. I don't that, either. I don't hate it. I will concede a point that I have seen regarding it from some less asshole commenters and re reviewers. It does, the entire season does feel more than a little bit very special episode-ish. It's like that, it's, it's like that one episode of, a, of an 80s sitcom that does a story about drugs or drunk driving or something, you know, and there's no comedy, no thing boards or anything like that. It's just a, t a total drama for, for 23 minutes. Like, but like, it's, okay. it's like, it's like, Somebody said, okay, we need a very special episode of Doctor Who. We're going to talk some, about Rosa Parks. <laughs> and then some tower or another, the entire show became, the entire season became nothing but these episodes. And, you know, you know, I, like, I, this isn't, like, but you know, the funny thing about it is that in spite of all this, the episodes aren't terribly written. You know, yeah, they're not just, bad it's just that there's only so much sermonizing that you can take oh you mean how every time she has a problem if I, she goes if i was a if i was a man you would listen to me mm -hmm. and i'm like well we're gonna make a drinking game out of this i just found my entertainment yeah because it's just I like say that i did like the kerblam episode. the kerblam episode is good and then i'm like oh god this is amazon yeah i was i was actually quite horrified by the kerblam episode i was like there are eyes yeah, but it's like the Kerbalan episode is good. I couldn't watch past season 11 because I was like, I hope to God the next season isn't going to be all, like you said, it's very special episode. I don't want to say preaching, but I also was like, I didn't, I'm trying to word this in a way that doesn't make me seem like an asshole. The Rosa Parks episode. Yeah. I feel like they were like, okay, we got a black character in this right now. We got we should, you know, do a Rosa Parks episode because, you know, we have so many American fans and I just like... Who, who, what are we talking about here? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Oh, oh. The, the oh. Jodie Whittaker season. Oh. Karen, she's and not bad. It's the she's writing not that bad Doctor. I like, I like Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. I think she's good as Doctor Who. She manages to be that... that Strange amalgamation between intelligent, quirky, and just badass at the same time. But yeah, you know, she's... it's just it's just that the episode I, I had I had this problem with the third serial of the new Who with Martha <laughs> Jones. At Lou! I ah, oh, that man. hurts, Lou. That hurts. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah. I did not I did like Martha Jones as a character. I did not think that she had a good season on Doctor Who because no. leave Tara the third, the give third give serial it. of the new Who was Look. not the best for no. overall. There were some good Calm there were good episodes down. in it overall, no. but I did not think that the overall season was very well written. Yeah. On, so she kinda got she kinda had some bad luck there. Yeah, it also didn't help that I'm going to say this right here, right now. Fandom of Doctor Who during the Martha Jones era were a bunch of assholes. Yeah. I feel good saying that, actually. Because I remember all of them were like, no, 10th Doctor needs to be with Rose forever. Rose and 10 forever. Rose and 10. Rose and... I had an ex-friend who was like this. Can you tell I have first-hand experience on this? And then when Martha came around, all the sex, the racism was peeking out of the Doctor Who fandom very interestingly. Yeah. I'm not saying, oh, they hated her because she's, it was just like, they, I'm like, oh, hello, Se hello, blatant racism that's slowly peeking out of the audience that comes out also when it comes to like Star Trek and other sci fi media, and I feel awkward about. So, uh, oh, yeah. did anyone talk about the $2 super chat we got from Don Achtenberg a while ago? I oh. was on the toilet. Sorry about that. Asked if any of us had seen the 1978 movie Laser Blast. 
Lou? What's laser black? Uh, it was on Mystery Science Theater 3000. I have not, but it sounds like a movie that I would have a lot of fun with. It, it was this, like... Yeah, 1978, but it, it was so low budget, it looked kind of like if Rob Zombie made a movie in 1978. I want to watch a movie uh, that was made by Rob Zombie in 1978. No, it's not a made by Rob Zombie kind of thing. It's way too dull and slow and audio's no terrible, drugs. and it's just... It's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 movie. <laughs> um, but this guy, a, a, a spaceship crashes, I think. I'm trying to remember. I saw it like once or twice from MST3K. <laughs> But, Lou, stop messing with Tara. She's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Go lay down with your bone. This is what happens when a druid has one too many familiars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ever wonder why they won't let you summon an extra? This is exactly why. <laughs> Game knows what will happen. Is it trying to help you? Yeah. You, wish, you should see some of the new stuff they have available for druids. But, also, uh, Ranger, you can be a dragon tamer. If I remember correctly, like a spaceship crashes and this... Like young adult slash late teenager finds it. This is just this jock guy, and in it the, there's this big fucking cannon that works as an arm cannon. So he just kind of puts it on, and it slowly zombifies him throughout the movie. And like no one really seems to take it that seriously. Like he's get, he's hitchhiking and he's looking like a corpse with a big fucking cannon gu gun arm in the passenger seat. Like, Ugh. and the tr guys driving the truck like, hmm, seems like an awful nice fella. And he's like, blow, and he just blows up a billboard that just says Star Wars, like just the words. Oh. Uh, Sebastian Imon donated two Canadian dollars, going, "Hey, creepy, have you or would you review Cyber Six? Oh, yes, we'll do that when we fix the channel. So he blows up the billboard just with this bat massive thing. He's a walking corpse man with giant, obviously functioning laser cannon arm. Blows up the billboard from the passenger seat in the car that he's currently hitchhiking with. And the driver's just like, far out. <laughs> the Armstrong, half-elf is not the best race in D&D. Half-elf yeah. is those who want to have a little spicy time and stop playing human or elf. Ah. Best also, race is t yeah. I have no plans to review Cyber 6 now, but in the future, we'll see. Also, Sebastian yeah. Iman dropped one Canadian dollar without a comment. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Yeah. So, if we missed any six. other super chats, let us know. I think that was it, I think. Sorry I wasn't focusing. We were having a very deep discussion about Doctor Who and their fandom and how crazy they are. Okay, Lou yeah. is eating also, the bone please... bone. <sighs> What's Tara doing? She's right there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't have one that more more than one familiar ducker. Lou, <laughs> back to your bone bone. Back to your bone bone. No, seriously though, there is a way you can be a dragon tamer in D and D now. You can have a dragon as a pet and companion, and let it kill people like giant puppies. Well, you can always have a pseudo dragon. Yeah, but the pseudo dragon is basically for those who do pack to the chain. Hi, warlock. Okay. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, they have an actual one where you don't have to have any form of magical connection. You could actually be like. I was young, I found an egg, I raised the dragon as my own, I know how to tame this dragon to be a guard dog and all that jazz. So basically, you can live out the Aragon storyline. If you want! <laughs> and, also, and also, when it gets high enough level, you can ride the dragon. Like I said, you're living out the Aragon storyline. But it's not as shit as the movie, which we do <laughs> not speak of. Well, the books weren't exactly... Great right either, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe the books would be better because I saw the movie first. And I'm like, oh god, this movie's god awful. What was the source material? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, leave Tara B. Then you find out that it was written Lou. by like a 14 year old Lou, boy whose parents are publishers. Yeah. Lou, she don't want to. Uh, Lou, Con Lou. We got a buck dollar, buck ninety nine from Draco Jacob going cat at cats. It's cat singular. Uh, I yelled at I yelled at Midnight Jumanji. In F2020. Good. <laughs> I also yelled Jumanji. We, I, I was watching the Mummy movies with my friends. <laughs> so it's like a weird... We were like, why didn't we just watch Jumanji? I'm like, because I didn't want to have to time it. Uh, out when we have to start. When the, my, Robin Williams says Jumanji and the bad ends at midnight. I didn't want to do math, okay? We're watching the Mummy movies and we're looking at that really good looking Magian Brendan Fraser. And Evie. There were a lot of good people in the first two Mummies. Third one sucks. I got, I got the trilogy. You have Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Have fun being going. I got it in they 4K. <laughs> Dude. They were giving it away. I don't know why. 
I just want you to know you need to CGI in the second and third films. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking about no. Uh, Scorpion King is not part of the Mummy trilogy. It's part of the Scorpion King ology. I'm way too much of a nerd to know this. No, but okay. So in the first two movies, the weapon scenes are awesome. In the third movie, I don't know how they did it, but showing off weapons was boring. And they're like, "What? Yeah, one guy's like, this is a Walter P." PP38, da da da, it's all about stamina and not strength. And I'm sitting here going, a Colt Revolver might have six shots, but it can take down someone quicker than a Walter P38. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, your audio that. just. Yeah, your Cut audio out. just glitched. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like it's almost peaked and now it's lost all things in a range and now nah, she's gone. Yeah. Also, Decker, I would like to review the Mummy trilogy with you. <laughs> <laughs> No, you no, can't. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. No, uh, no, but they we're talking about, you know, and I'm sitting here and I'm watching this movie and then I just blurt out the whole thing about the Walter PP38 and everyone's like, how do you know so much about guns? Anything before World War II, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Vietnam. Maybe. Wasabi Swamp Drop 299 asking, will they ever make a Predator versus Evil Dead movie? I don't think so, but I would love it if they did. Is Ash worthy? To be fought by the predator or the or the undead. Or the I, predator, I feel like I feel like the evil the the, uh, the deadites would come out and that would attract the predators because shit to hunt. Okay. And yes. Ash would be such a badass they'd have to go. It'd be like wrist blades versus motherfucking chainsaw hand. They fight. They get along. They make out. Wait, what? <laughs> and. Um. Now I'm picturing part of me. Part of me is wondering because oh. because uh, Bruce Campbell is a bit up there in eight years, and you could just say the movie's not canon to Evil Dead or what have you. Uh, you they could get it? away with having him killed by the Predator for the ending. Yeah, actually, uh, I could picture Bruce Campbell like being this man, you know, like this older grandfather type. You kids get off my lawn! And then the deadites come back and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then the predators come, of course. Sebastian Iman donated two Canadian dollars going, do not watch The Mummy 2017. The Mummy 2017 doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. That movie yeah, is an insult to the Mummy series, even before the Brendan Fraser ones. Yeah. Oh, let's make the freaking Emotepa girl because, you know, women, no hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Yes, but we're also going to make her sexy. Mm -hmm. I like. Uh, I just like sexy women. Excuse me. It's not that. It's just like I like emo tep when he's. Can like, every character be a sexy woman? I'm just wondering. Hey Decker, can you be a sexy woman? I, if I could, I would. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, stop flickering, camp. You only do this when I'm doing live and wired. It always annoys me. I'm going to throw you against a shoe. Anyway. Don't ask. That <laughs> creepy. Don't question my mannerisms, okay? My mind is a complex enigma. Full of spaghetti. Oh, anyway, anyway. Which, I had a plate of spaghetti. Okay, for those of you who don't know, uh, he eats food. Yeah, I, I ate a plate of spaghetti and then I took my meds. Now, because of certain circumstances that I won't talk about, um, my meds reacted with the flavor of spaghetti, and what I ended up tasting in my mouth was the smell from the oh, the pizza hut that I used to visit as a child. And when I got that sensation, I was like, you know, this explains an awful lot. <laughs> what is so is this like an evil Ratatouille moment? Don't! Don't! <laughs> Don't! Oh, did you hear about the Ratatouille TikTok musical? Why would I hear about that? Because you happened to follow me and I mentioned it. <sighs> oh no, he was too busy avoiding the All Might porn, which I have not been share doing a lot of as of late. I'd like to be pointed out. It anyway. still shows your likes. I don't know why, but it shows your likes. Did you turn it off? No. <laughs> That's why it's still showing, Decker. Uh, Sebastian Emo and donating five Canadian dollars going plus mummy 2017 he had the gall to cameo the book of Amon-Ra but never fucking uses it until the climax with Butella versus Cruz 
Also, they were trying so hard to make it part of an extended universe of the classic Hollywood mon Universal monsters. Yeah, I was I was gonna say that was when uh, they were Universal was trying to bring back their classic movie monsters for uh, the 21st century. Apparently, the one that was supposed to do it was the werewolf, and even before that one was the one Dracula movie. Dracula, not Dracula 3000, was it? Dracula no. Dead and Loving It. No. <laughs> I actually think that movie is very funny. Is My God, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, cat. I'm currently eating a Domino's pizza. My brain. Okay, yeah, that reminds me. For live and for this live stream, and I set it to monetization. YouTube asked me what all the content that's going to be in there is going to be, so I can self-rate it. And mm -hmm. I think we've taken care of most of it. Mm -hmm. I just have to make a drug reference. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Cheese danishes. I'm doing drugs! Uh, no, you guys are money. Yeah. Cat, uh, the Mummy 2017. That, that was just to make sure that I had an accurate rating. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, uh, the Mummy 2017 for Cat is the same as the Predator 2018 for Decker. No, 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 no. You want my Decker rant? You want my level of Decker ranting in a video in a freaking car? Mm -hmm. You want that level of me? Ask me about the Silent Hill movies. Ask me about the Silent Hill movies. You will see a rage beyond any understanding that scares let's, people. Let's not. That reminds me. <laughs> Wait, Kat, there, we only have three hours. <laughs> there's a little bit of Silent Hill news, but in terms of it being news, it's the kind of news that would be talked about on Live and Wired for the next two and a half years. Because, mm. yeah, over on Game Informer, they uh, reporting Silent Hill creator has a new horror game coming in 2023. Okay, game. Okay, I was about to say, if it's a movie announcement, I'm going to die. <laughs> Uh, Silent Hill movies were better than the Resident Evil movies. They're both trash. I said it. I said it. So, yeah, that's all, really all they know is Keiichiro to Toyama is working on a unknown horror adventure. And his slated release is 2023. PC is primary console. And I'm like, well, we know next to nothing here. What are you doing? Creepy. Man who has done good work in the past continues to get work. I mean, he also did the good. Siren movies. I mean, good, but... You remember the Siren games? Mm, was, that, Siren? was that a VR game? Nope. Not Older that one? VR. Not that one? I swear there's a Siren VR game. Oh, for the love of God. Siren games. You know, Siren Blood Curse, Forbidden Siren. Siren. Uh, okay, Sebastian Iman dropped five Canadian dollars saying Dracula Untold. Personally would have loved would have loved to see Charles Dance Vampire from the movie team up with Russell Crowe's Jekyll Hyde. Quit making the kitty mad creepy. <laughs> She's being mean to me. Then let go <laughs> of her. Let her do her thing. Let her go play with Chibi Thulu. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did let her down. Okay. Is There's Resident Evil 8 the there are dresser. A Lou is sleeping in the bed. All is right with the world. Wait, Resident Evil 8 the game, or is there an 8th movie I don't know about because I'm dreading to know about Resident it? Resident Evil 8 is Village. Werewolves? I mean, unless they're doing weird T-virus versions of wolves, well, that it, wouldn't be... They would do. It, it's, it, Resident yeah, Evil 8 is continuing the thing that I really didn't like about Resident Evil 7. Creepy it, psychic children? Well, it's... Resident Evil isn't necessarily a franchise anymore as a genre. But it's still a franchise because they still have the characters that they feel they need to kind of shoehorn in. One. So it's like... Thank Resident you, Evil <laughs> 1, 2, and 3 kind of worked a, as its thing. And you had your Code Veronica's, you had your other kind of side stuff, and you got your 4, 5, and whatever you feel about it, your 6, which all kind of fit in their own little thing. The Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes fit in more with the 4, 5, and 6 style, but Resident Evil 7 is like, no, we're going to go old dark house 
and uh, it's, it's just going to be kind of an old Dark House found footage style thing, but it's going to be this? Resident Evil because it's going to involve stars in some capacity, and Chris is going to show up at some point, I guess. What? what hold on. What was the uh, one video game that came out that was super popular amongst girls who had crushes on serial killers? Um, that was set in a hospital. Had the creepy guy who would cut a guy would cut and then, oh. Outlast was that it? Outlast was set in a hospital. Yeah, it was very. I kept getting Outlast vibes when I did seven. Yeah, uh, eight is following seven style a bit more, but instead of the old dark house it's a larger kind of village it's area dark village yeah it's it's the i am i'm in this weird little haunted place kind of thing it's you know closer to a sort of silent hill i guess you'd say but not supernatural kind of silent hill you know what i mean what it's, I find it's fun, still the what I find funny about that is that um they should really take some stills of the town where i live in like January, February, when it gets really foggy, because I have uh, I've looked out the window at night and I've said, "This is some Silent Hill shit right here." Oh, that's my okay. So my hometown has a is known for a massive lake. It's actually we're actually named after the lake. Um, and when it gets really foggy, I love going there and taking pictures. And one time I was, I, I, my computer was broken. This was way before long time. Camera stopped flickering. I sort of fucking gone. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> my camera. <laughs> It keeps flickering, and I don't know why it keeps doing the green thing. I will Google later. Um, you have your own green screen. What? You have your own green screen. It flickers my face into green, and I don't understand why. I'm wondering if I should do it through OBS. Uh, Wasabi Swamp dropped uh, Buck 99 and says, Alien versus Candyman. I don't know Candyman? how that would work. Candyman. Candyman, you say. How many times have I said Candyman? <laughs> you, got, you got to say it five times, right? Does a, does a computer screen count as a mirror? It reflects! Well, yeah, but if you break a computer screen, it's not seven years of bad luck. Yeah, but it always... It's, it's a bad idea. It's expensive, but, I mean, it's not seven years of bad luck. No, it's just seven years of debt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. Oh, also, there was this guy who was known... Who uh, decided... Uh, it was, like, super foggy, and he lives on, like, this little island in America, so somewhere near Maine. And he decided one day to cosplay as, as Pyramid Head walking through his town. <laughs> and there were really great photoshops that his friends did, but some random neighbor that he has tweeted out going, what is the Silent Hill shit going on here? <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good, si it was a very good Pyramid Head cosplay. I'd like to state that. Okay. I'm just... Um... Send the yeah, aliens to a Chicago yeah, project and have someone summon the Candyman. So the aliens have shown up. And they're tearing Why? through the projects. Okay, it, it's because will... it's one of the newer alien prequel sequels and they don't give a shit anymore. So they're just going to drop them in Chicago like, fuck it. Uh, Wait, I got an idea. Go and so to try and fight off the aliens, the inhabitants intentionally summon Candyman. I was going to say Wayland butani is trying to do some... If you want to use that whole genderfication thing as an undertone, without, like like the old Candyman movie, you could be like, Wayland butani has decided to take over the Chicago projects and try to, you know, bulldoze it over and turn it into subsidized housing. You know. Oh, God. And someone decided we don't want that on our turf, so we used to summon Candyman to take care of Wayland butani Somehow in the process, a guard gets killed and the aliens escape, and now we got Candyman versus aliens. Yay! Yay! See, I planned, I figured out something plot relevant. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, hold on. What about Man at Arms and making the Pyramid Head great knife? How much does it weigh? And can I have it for my house to protect myself? <laughs> I'm not a... So I was just happy that uh, when I went and got my uh, fireworks this year, they ha they were selling fireworks novelties in ammo cans. Like oh, ac actual ammo cans. So now I have yeah, a safer place to store my ammo. I'm proud of you, Decker. If I can get some silica packs in there, it'll keep for years. Speaking of Jodie Whittaker and Aliens, would you guys ever watch Attack the Block? I think Attack the Block is good, but I like it. Attack the Block is a British horror movie starring John Boyega and has Jodie Whittaker in it. Oh, okay. I, there was also a British movie that I kind of wanted to watch and maybe even review one day. Uh, uh, Cult of the White Worm, I think it was. 
It's supposed to be this really funny, really cheesy British horror film. I wanted Decker to review the Wicker Man, the original. Ah. Uh, I have copy, Decker, if needed. I, I, I just remember, like, I was... I, I actually got requested to do the Wicker Man, like, a while back when I was just kind of starting this up. But that was after I had just... I don't know. It's like I watched the Wicker Man with my the, the Nicholas Cage Wicker Man with my brother years prior. Not the bees. And he loved it, and I hated it. <laughs> and so I was just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Sebastian Iman doted one Canadian dollar. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, anything to go with it, or was it just a Canadian dollar? You just got a Canadian. Okay. But uh, but yeah, should uh, probably, probably talk a little bit about either news or just the new year, as it were. Everything's yeah. on fire. Well, yeah, I set I, a bunch I of fires. To... That's the yeah. that's what you do on New Year's. You burn away the old. I, I thought you were. Uh, I woke up New Year's Day and my sinuses were killing me. I, I mean, went like, to I that massive headache for the. Bulk of the day. Like, Damn, I, I hung over and went over just afternoon. connected to you? <laughs> Decker, I went to the hospital. Do you want to figure out how that connected? <laughs> alcohol poisoning. Decker, I wasn't going in for alcohol poisoning. I should have. <laughs> I, I was in bed all day long. Well, not all day because I had to get up and do things, but I mostly needed to be in bed all day long on New Year's. What did you learn, Decker? Never drink again. Also... Just give me a second. I'm about to do some fixing of my camera. Oh, okay. So don't also, start any. Uh, I sent. Uh, uh, where where uh, I had asked earlier, like when we were gonna do the next Stephen drinking Stephen King drinking game, because um, those, like I said, those seem to be really popular, and uh, we didn't do one before Christmas, like I had hoped, and this one is dedicated to the new year, so we weren't doing that one. But I have brought it up, and. Uh, Decker seems that Decker's new, one of Decker's new resolutions is uh, to not drink as much, so he'll be consuming alcohol free <laughs> beer. <laughs> uh, it's a thing. Which one is actually harder, to drink the alcoholic beer or the alcohol free? Alcohol free yeah, sure. or alcohol, I don't care. It tastes like ass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink beer for that very reason, so. <laughs> Will I follow what I learned? I'm going to try, because you know, when it comes to just generally drinking i was i was already getting away from it personally because i wasn't really enjoying it anymore i uh nah, i've built up a tolerance and i'm just kind of bored you're bored of everything and then i just kind of drink to feel forget. right which is the wrong fucking way thing to do i was about to say you drink to forget so i had actually stopped drinking too much for a while uh, i did drink on christmas but uh christmas and then new year's but i didn't like drink at all in between but new year's just i got way too fucked up what did you learn that it is not worth it to enjoy yourself for 20 minutes to then lose the entire next day and the conversation that you're in the middle of yeah <laughs> just everything just <laughs> Like damn. I wonder I wonder if this I wonder if this uh live and wired is gonna be indicative of the new year. Like things just drop in and out. <laughs> no, that's just live oh, and wired. <laughs> that's just how it's always been. That's true. That's true. Does whiskey count as beer? I th that's that I think that's what kind of messed me up on this. <laughs> like, cause I I got a six pack of Guinness and I'm like, I've got four hours to drink six beers, I'll be fine. But, also, let's not forget the uh, Captain Morgan incident during the second, or third, was it third, Stephen King drink. Well, I figured I'd be drinking less in that, so get something higher alcohol content. And Sorry, I was I'm right, there. there were less drinks. <laughs> well, Cat, you, Kat, you have no camera. I'm working on it! Sure you are. I'm not setting fire to anything. <sighs> Sorry. I don't like it when Ooh. this stuff happens. Sebastian Iman said, I swore I'd try to cut back on drinking, especially after an incident in 2015 where I blacked out drinking while out with my cousin and woke up in the emergency room. See, I didn't, I didn't black out or anything. I just got 
pretty dang Wait, hammered because after the during the sixth, then my uh, my uh, like Charlie's mom, she was like, "Hey, you know, it'd be great <clears throat> liquor." And I'm I'm there already drunk, and I'm like, "Yeah, you're right. That would be great." So I I don't know how damn many. <laughs> and then Decker woke up the next morning feeling like he just swallowed sheep. <laughs> no, Decker woke up the next morning without any without his pants, but yet he still had fifty bucks on him somehow, which he didn't have beforehand. <laughs> How did you know about that trip, Cat? <laughs> uh, hides my ninjas. Well, what happened was I got Charlie in here and I got her in bed, and then I crawled myself to the bathroom and like took off my shoes and puked my guts out, and then fell asleep and on the floor until Charlie was like, "Get in bed!" And then I got up and I crawled back to bed. And it just crawled into bed and I just <laughs> face down like neck sideways off the side in the corner by the wall and uh, Charlie was saying that she was trying to get me to roll over and get in a comfortable sleeping position but I wouldn't respond until so she was just like ah guys screw it and she just rolled over and fell asleep <laughs> and then I woke up later that morning like oh, you, uh, why I'm that's what you get for drinking Captain Morgan. And Lou was in the kennel, and she was there like, hey, I gotta pee. And so then, ah, nice. Fixed. To an extent as much. Well, basically, I'm. my theory is it doesn't like going through Discord, so I'm doing it through OBS to see if maybe the flickering will stop. Uh, Lou, Lou was in her kennel. So that's where she was spending the night, but then she was like, in the morning, like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I had to go, like, rah, crawl out from bed, and I opened the day thing, opened the door, and I'm, like, looking at it, like, go bathroom long. And I'm just still, like, down on the floor, and she's just looking at me, like, aren't you coming? Don't you want to watch me poop? You, 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 you I'm not going if you're not going. I just open the door, crawl out, and then she runs out of the lawn, like, okay, you go be, and I crawl back inside. <laughs> And that, my friends, is why Decker should never drink alcohol that is more, more than his weight in alcohol. See, <laughs> Kids, the more. See, the problem was I was absolutely too just hungover, and I couldn't function. I was just in pain. I couldn't think. I just needed to lay down. But then I had to keep getting up to do things because I had to take care of the dog, and I had to get Charlie out of bed, and I had to uh, reach some things in the back of the fridge, and <laughs> just like. So, oh. uh... We have a donation from Wasabi Swamp. Did you do that one already? Uh, no. Uh, dollar ninety nine. Black Phillip versus Eric Estrada. Don't know versus don't know, and I should know. You never watch Chips? What the hell, are Chips? Chips? Chips is a classic television. Was I the only one raised on TV Land as a child? Television, you say? <laughs> television. Oh, don't be Mister Holier Than Thou, because you didn't watch television, and you actually freaking, you know, have a bidet. Crap. Sega the, uh, Genesis, Sega yeah, Saturn, and then PlayStation because I, I wanted to, to have extra I, I games to play. Bullshit because he has watched Gargoyles and he loves it. So there. <laughs> well, some things are worth turning Sonic off for. Uh huh. Oh, speaking of that, uh, when I was playing Vampire the Masquerade, the town I'm current, the area I'm currently in, looks a lot like Gotham slash Manhattan during Gargoyles. And I'm sitting here going. Okay, where's David Zanatos? I David? creepy. I still say we gotta watch uh, Sledgehammer together. Not because I think you'll like it, but because I want another excuse to watch the series again. Decker, just watch it because you're depressed like I do when I watch freaking cooking shows all the time. But why just? I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal, Decker. We'll watch Sledgehammer together so long as we can review it together afterwards. <laughs> Now you made it a job. Hmm. Exactly. Does the chat have an opinion here? Let's find out. Opinion. Would you like Decker and Creepy to watch Sledgehammer as well as review it? It's going to take a bit. So we'll just sit here and knit. Decker, I had a very interesting advent calendar this Christmas. It was cheese based. How do you. Do you keep it in the fridge? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> the question that was. 
Uh, we have a never we have heard of it. Never oh. heard of it. It's hey, sledgehammer. You go get a, I was about to say, hey, creepy. You want to go get a drink while Decker talks about sledgehammer for twenty minutes? <laughs> I think we're gonna need. I think I'm gonna need more than one. <laughs> it's a very big drink. <laughs> this thing is like, I don't know. I could put a whole coke. Well, not a whole coke bottle, not the two liters, but like you know, one of those bottles. Sledgehammer was a. TV series that was kind of, well, it, it's. <laughs> late eighties TV series only had two seasons. It was a comedy cop drama. I thought it was basically a home improvement knockoff with the name Sledgehammer. Uh, it was it was a uh, parodying, uh, Dirty Harry. It's like Dirty oh. Harry, but if it was zany. <laughs> Oh, Podog says, a cop show for people who hated cop shows. That's how Sledgehammer was sold to me. Fair enough. Though it is funny because, like, it originally was being pitched to HBO. And, and no. you can tell with the first episode, the, the pilot episode, because it is in a completely different kind of style versus the entire rest of the series. I'm paying attention, I promise. Well, the rest of it, it, it couldn't get on HBO, and they had to tone down a lot of the sex and the violence that they were kind of intending. So Aww. it kind of comes off like a live-action cartoon in a lot of ways. Bonk. So it's like, oh, crap, what was that one TV series, that one movie series that was about the Police Academy? Police Academy. Similar. They I also thought you were... I also thought you were talking about the Naked Gun movies. We don't speak of Naked Gun. Though, uh, because we can't talk about Naked on this show anymore, remember? When when it originally aired, Sledgehammer had a laugh track, but when they got uh, the uh, when they got it printed on DVD, one of the first things they managed to do was remove the laugh track. I mean, I hate when they put laugh tracks in, in uh, shows because it's like, we're funny, see? These people who are most likely dead now think we're funny. <laughs> Because you know that laugh track is the same laugh track from, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> have, you watched, have you ever watched Big Bang Theory without a laugh track? Oh, There's God. no funny. There's no yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all bas It's basically nerd buzzwords, if you think about it. There are some awkward pauses in Sledgehammer now that they don't have a laugh, laugh track in it, but I still think it's funny. Charlie doesn't think it's funny, but I think it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> Creepy, tell me how bad it is when you're forced to watch this like we did when we watched Lucifer. Are we going to continue watching Lucifer, by the way, Creepy, whenever you have a chance? Do you really want to? I'm curious how it, how it what happens when it finally goes on Netflix and then he gets act, Lucifer actually gets to be the bisexual icon we know he should be. Yeah. That's a long time to wait for, though. I know. But I, yeah, it, we, I mean, that, was, that was mainly what I thought of when I was considering watching it, I was like, well, it eventually does go over to Netflix, but that's a long wait and a lot of episodes to go through before anything that I would consider interesting happens. It was weird, because I wrote down notes while watching it, and I put down a bunch of technical flaws in it. Like, this <laughs> scene is too blue. So, it's, it's funny, like, in Sledgehammer, a lot of people said, like, the first season was great and the second season was crap. But the way I see it is like there is a shift in the second season, but it's like the first season is parodying Dirty Harry. And the second season is parodying literally everything else. Uh, Lone Dragon donated two dollars going, a sea monster, a creepy's channel. There's there's the noir episode, there's the uh Crocodile Dundee episode, there's this, the Robocop episode, where Sledgehammer turns into a cyborg. Called Hammeroid. Question. Okay, first, Hammeroid? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I already smell the tone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Kat. That summed it up nicely. I can s oh. And I want to remind Decker of how, many, of, of how many times he's complained about the things that I've had him watch. <laughs> Decker, one day I'm going to kidnap you and make you watch shit I watch. And let's see how you feel. You're going to watch nothing but a bunch of great British Bake Off, Hell's Kitchen, 
and then some very, very sexy Regency period dramas. <laughs> uh, Lone Dragon dropped two dollars saying a sea monster ate Creepy's channel. Yeah. And Sebastian Iman. And Thank Sebastian you. Iman donated another dollar, another Canadian dollar. Thank you. Well, you got Julia Goodwin wanting to watch this show. Yeah, I I watched a Regency era period piece that's really really sexy on Netflix. It's really nice. The actors are good. Look, well, I I mean there was I was watching it. Now most Decker feels now Decker feels threatened that he has to take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking me to the Twig show. I see. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got the Ben show over here. <laughs> I'm not talking. But, so. but, but, yes. We're going to talk about the uh, New Year resolutions. This is the new year, and I, that's the Twitter poll I got ready. Becker, so, have you seen Samurai Cop? No. That was the audience questioning and wanting to know. I'm just relaying the messages towards ye. Also, but, yes. Thank you. In the live and wired poll new year's resolution for 2021 choice the number one is to get fat happy and laid you guys can get guesses on who made up what which one choice the number two is to have your diet start your diet next monday no tomorrow next monday tomorrow diet it's starts on monday no, 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 diet starts tomorrow. It's always a day away, Decker. Le it's Monday. I'm making you watch Little Orphan Annie. Next Monday. Choice number three is to get Creepy's channel back. We're bringing Creepy back. We don't know how to act. And choice number four is to get more cr crossovers with Creepy. 30 minutes wow. on Twitter, at Decker Shadow, starting now. Link will be in the chat in just a second. Emilio Valdez asked, hey, Decker, read this request. Could you review the movie to Helen back? It's about WW2 Or possibly Mad earlier than a second, depending on the de delay between the chat and the video. Yes. Uh, to Helen back, it's about a World War II mad lad, Audie Murphy, and it stars Murphy himself. Who's Audie Murphy? It's in World War II. My World War II history is Audie very, Murphy, very fuzzy. Mur Audie Mur I'm confused. I mean, my grandfather was in World War II, but... My grandma was born after World War II. Um, hey, Kat, you should know that Twitch changed their TOS again. Oh, my what? lord. What, what, what is it now? Because I haven't streamed on Twitch lately. I, I, twi I streamed today. I didn't get any TOS issues. Uh, every Lone Dragon donated $2 going, everyone vote for three or four, please. Love, creepy. Hey, <laughs> does no one want to get fat, happy, and laid? There's nothing wrong with getting fat, happy, and laid. No matter how much my doctor tells me, I shouldn't. I'm a little... So I'm shocked. Uh, Comic Girl 267 donated $14.99. Decker, read the channel! I'm breaking my neck. Decker, read. It's a fourteen ninety nine. dollars This okay. is above $10. You have to read it. Yes. Hi, everyone. Decker, do you have any advice for using fair use without getting copyright claims? Any advice would help. Thanks so much. And love your videos. Smiley face heart. Thank you, Comic Girl 2, 6, and 7. Uh, now, the thing is, copyright claims on YouTube are based on the content ID bot, which doesn't care what is or is not fair use. All it exists to do is try and detect the media there. Now, the ways around that are to try and confuse the bot, to change the hue of a video, to play it at a slightly different speed, to use very short clips, but they have improved their copyright detection system on YouTube so much that now it's like, what, two seconds is enough? Mm-hmm. I kept it to ten seconds because way back when, you needed to have something like 20 seconds for it to detect it. And if you were under that, you were safe. And now that's not the case, so I just get hit with a lot of copyright claims and am constantly having to fight them. But of course, there's also the fact that depending on the size of your channel, YouTube might just say, screw you. As we have learned recently. <laughs> Basically... So be in my because I have over 100,000 subscribers, YouTube is more likely to send a content match or a warning versus, 
here's the strike, you're in trouble, you can't do this now, and you've got six months to figure it out. If this happens multiple more, several more times within the next couple of days, screw you, you don't got a channel anymore. And then there's me who experienced them going, you survived, uh, this was my gaming channel years ago, where they basically go, you broke community guidelines, and I asked them, what were the community guidelines? They never answered and just deleted my channel. Oh, fun. All my Skyrim work for nothing! I hate the community guideline strikes because there's really they they I've never had something happen where they can definitively show here's what you did that was wrong this violated this in this way it's always just a very vague claim and you're like are you sure and they're like yes and you got your strike no they do, so on my gaming channel was my very decently length uh, Skyrim LP where I played Skyrim. But, and they, I get, my theory is it's because I kept, I might have accidentally doubled, doubled a couple of videos on accident and wasn't fully aware of it when I was still trying to get uh, used to the restreaming. Back in the day when it was restreaming. Ah, uh, yeah. So they basically think, even though I was not aware of that I accidentally doubled it up, they were like, oh no, she's doubling it up so she can get, try you know, she's spamming. And <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not. So that's what I assume is the reason why. So yeah, to avoid to, to avoid the copyright thing at all is very difficult because you know you could just have a video of you talking about <laughs> you you could just have the video talking about like a movie that you're reviewing for example. Oh, like the but one if guy you, who but you have the tags in the description t so that people who want to find a review of that movie can find that video. And that's something else the content ID bot looks for. is like, oh, you've got these tags. You must have uploaded some of the movie. We're going to hit this with a copyright warning. So, like, there was that whole... Remember when one, some guys reviewed... Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, Deadpool, the first Deadpool in their car. No footage or anything. Like, just got out of it. You know, decided yeah. to talk about it. They weren't even, like, full-on giving out spoilers or anything. They were just talking about, you know, what they liked and all that jazz. No real spoilers given, but they got claimed hard. Yeah, my, uh, my, pred my Predator reaction was oh, that was deemed by YouTube to be not be advertiser-friendly. Uh, Decker, how many times did you say fuck in that video? Well, not to excess. Decker, I did it way less times? than that movie deserved. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, Decker, what is an excess for you? <laughs> I'll tell you what the fucking fucking excess is, motherfucker. Why did they remove Creepy's channel? Copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim. Yeah. Wait, hold on. And Creepy's new policies were put in place because some female streamers were giving intimate favors to Twitch mods to stop getting banned, and now if you bring it up, you get banned. Well, why did you tell me now? Because I wasn't fully aware of this. I'm not in the Twitch community as hardcore as everyone likes to think I am. What? So bringing up the, uh, what? Uh. Basically, I think what they're trying to say is, girl streamers did a thing just so they wouldn't get banned that may or may not have been sexual, whatever. So that would but explain if, why so many uh, streamers who streamers. did something that was like, hmm, this should have been a pretty big fucking ban. Uh, oh, somehow like, oh, got very lenient little sentences there. Oh, you mean the girl who showed off her butt? And by her butt, we mean something else? Yeah, yeah. And only got three-day suspension? Yeah, that little uh, video that, uh, that uh, Thick Black Daddy informed us of. Oh, yes. And then a friend of mine informed me. And then he go, it's girls get away with a lot of shit on Twitch. I go, no, 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 no. I do not get away with anything. Look at this face. Look at this face. <laughs> this face does not get rid of any, does not get leniency. If anything, I get ire. <laughs> I'm not showing my cleavage enough for the boys to like me. Uh, I, uh, I'm not showing my cleavage mm, up. Yeah. There. Mm. <laughs> just push them together, make one good one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I don't want to show my cleavage off. I, uh, no. <laughs> no, no. Ah, but... Uh, my neck. Ah, ooh, my dog. I've seen my dog's Twitch, all videos of, Twitch videos of girls playing... How do you... They did some really good kegels if they're able to do that with a controller. There's the Xbox Adaptive Controller. It's got the two big buttons on it. Decker, Decker. Kegels. 
It's also got a little D-pad on it. Just flick the D-pad. Just flick the D-pad. <laughs> Well, I got a new thing that can say things to say in bed that will definitely ruin the mood. <laughs> just click the deep head. Just click the deep head. <laughs> just click it. Oh god. TikTok is worse. Oh, TikTok is worse. Trust me, I know this because I am on TikTok. Apparently, they got mad at me for doing artwork of a fat guy with man titties. Ah, speaking of very no, questionable. Very questionable choices in design and gaming. There's that KF console. Yes. It's real? Yeah. And keeps your chicken warm. And, yeah, there's... Statement I didn't expect to hear. Yeah, the K KFC <laughs> made a... Well, they're making a thing. It is this an ad or what the... Okay, no, it's... It, yeah, it is, but for the KF console. It's... I don't know what I it's it's an obvious like publicity stunt thing. It's because there was the Bud Light console too, the BL6. Yeah, but Bud Light's crap, so who would want to get that kind of console? Well, but well it... the thing is they already released it. It was a limited run. It was <laughs> a thing with like giveaways and stuff and sign up for a chance to get it for the BL6. The BL6 was like, "Hey, it's a console, but it also hold, has six slots to hold, like, these, your two controllers. It can hold two beers, and you can keep them cool with this integrated cooler there. And it has a little built-in projector, and you can play, like, Tekken on it. Which Tekken? I think six. Oh. Uh, Lone Dragon just donated $2 going, My cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> I had to do it in the voice. I had to. That's my Ralph Wiggum. Oh Enjoy yes, but it. Lone Dragon about the, 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 the trailer. I s damn, I need to we've watch already, it. We've talked about it. Yes, I, and... I'm terrible we're at actually doing things. I don't know why. Yeah, we're, that's why we're planning on learning teleportation to teleport into your room, tape you to that chair, and make you watch it three times. All I need yeah. is for like Lou to come up crying, telling me that she wants to watch this trailer. <laughs> Lou, I have training to do for you. God, my hair is. But yeah, the yeah. the BL six was a you know obvious little publicity stunt, being a uh, you know play on PS five. Yep. Uh, the KF console, Kentucky Fried console, and the, the little tray with the chicken warmer. That also saying like it's also even more powerful than the other things out there. Your PlayStation five and your Xbox Series X. It's more powerful than both of those fucking things combined. Can it 244 play frames a second at 4K. Can it play Cyberpunk without glitching? Uh, well, it's the PC version, so yes. <laughs> you just gotta mod the shit out of it. Yeah. That's the thing. The KF console is a PC. It is literally... You can build it your damn self if you want one so bad. Okay, uh, tap, <laughs> Untapped Hip Hop Point said, uh, KFC is making a lot of moves nowadays. Are we talking about the KFC dating sim, which I soon want... I want Decker to play. Decker, it's free. <laughs> but is my time free? Decker, you will get so many viewers of watching some grown guy do funny ass voices play <laughs> play the KFC dating sim. So which which mm. voice do I give the colonel? You give him a good old fashioned southern accent. We have oh, with yeah. oh yes, yes. Add that a beautiful, there. beautiful southern drawl there. Yeah, you gotta do a was, beautiful southern drawl. I, if you, I, I was you do wondering if I was gonna be doing that. Or if I would do the nice beautiful generic female voice that I like for a lot no, of them. The I miss my syllables from. I still hate that one. Wow. No, the, well, such because, a nice for us. Right there is why. Ow. Oh. Ow, me. Listen, this is talking to the person who uses this voice every Thursday for their character. I use this voice a lot in my little in my little West place of dating simulators. It's also a voice I use when I'm talking as my cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Apparently, I cannot do that voice, do that cute little voice, which I call the marshmallow voice, because if I say sexy things as it, even though my character's like 40 years old, they're like, please stop. <laughs> the fuck was that voice? Uh, that was, as when I did uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, that was the voice I used for Sayori. Uh, a high pitch annoying voice? You also used it for the Russian tank. Oh, yeah. The tank simulator. Yeah, simulate. Panzer models is too. Panzer yeah. models. It took him a minute for his brain to catch up. He has a brain. 
Point is, and that I had that, but that, 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 but there was also, I also did Jesse Ventura, that voice. The people, people just call it the Jesse Ventura voice. Uh, Whenever a Sundari comes up, I'm like, and another thing. <laughs> At least he's not doing God damn sexual terrorist. God damn sexual terrorist. That's that, that after t I put up Tammy and the T Rex. I realized, oh, I should have put that in there. Damn it. There was a perfect spot right there when he's talking about how she's walking. I could have just put it right there. God damn sexual tyrannosaurus. Perfect spot. Fucked it up. Terrible review now. Zero out of ten. I've had that happen to me too. So, yeah. It's like you put up the video and then it's like, mm, I feel like George Lucas here. I just want to just go in there and mess with this. Decker, quit trying to make the lightsabers blue. Mm. <laughs> Connell McBride says, I'm subscribed! <laughs> well, at least you're not doing some freaking Hulk Hogan voice or, you know, oh yeah, I'm here. That's, what, what that's Macho, Man Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man oh, Randy Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage. I am the cream of the crop! <laughs> Ooh, I'm... I'm coming up from the underground. Cause I'm wild, yeah! Can we just do Undertaker voice? That's easy. It's just a very low, creepy voice that you talk slow in. It's ah. easy. It's hotter than hell. Rest in peace. Unless we're doing his ba American Badass version. Then it's a little bit more Texan. <laughs> Man's from Texas. <laughs> Cup of coffee in the big time. Oh yes, we all know about the Macho Man Dragon and Skyrim. I was and I was referencing the Macho Man Deathclaw in Fallout. I was mentioning okay, so there's a radio mod for Fallout 4, and there's a whole bit in there with Macho Man Randy Savage. The radio <laughs> host apparently Well the radio host sounds like John Travolta in that one TV series he was in before he did movies, right? And there's this one little commercial bit in there where he's arguing with Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> And it's just clips of him, ba of Macho Man Randy Savage, basically, you know, ta doing his taunting thing. And he's like, what? Where? What? <laughs> it's doggy butt doll sleeping on the bed like that. And it's the weirdest... I like the music on it, but when that comes up, I just went bursting out into laugh. Again, Decker, invest in a doggy cam. It's a doggy butt. She's sleeping. Undertaker's a great wrestler, uh, you Southern Yankee. in a room with you. I'm astounded. I can... I fell asleep while watching De while Decker was doing one of his, uh, g video games. I'm like, how did I fall asleep to Decker playing stupid Doki Doki Literature Club? It is boring. How? <laughs> I can believe you'd fall asleep while Decker was playing a video game. I can't believe... Anyone can fall asleep with Decker himself in the same room. You know how when I say I'm tired, I need to wake up? I just bra grab a few videos and put it in the queue of Decker reviewing videos and just listen to that. Especially the Saw movies. That woke me. What? Ah, but, uh, yeah, Char Char like Char me? Charlie has a difficult time falling asleep when I'm in the same room. Uh, Our God, bed's creaky I as hell, and I'm always there, like, yeah, I gotta roll over. Yeah, I gotta roll over again. Yeah, I roll over enough. Okay. It's not shocked me in the slightest. <laughs> I'm also a roly poly in bed. Uh, hey, Kat, can I recommend games for Decker to play like Dragon Quest XI or Fire Emblem Three Houses? He would like it. Oh, God, not Fire Emblem. Oh, God, not Fire. I got nothing against Fire Emblem. I love JRPGs. But Fire Emblem is hard. I'm, I, I've been trying to figure out. I should probably see about getting my uh, Series X to actually stream to Twitch. It's more complicated to set it up on Xbox than it is on PlayStation. PlayStation, like, Please share play. to Twitch. Link Twitch account. Done. Xbox is like, download Twitch account, launch Twitch, uh, down, download Twitch app, launch Twitch app, set up Twitch app, <laughs> start streaming, Decker play game, or play game, Dai start Katana. streaming, one of the two, I don't know. I've wanted Decker to review Die Katana for years, I've wanted him to do a playthrough of it. <sighs> I want to be a fly on the wall or a voice in his head while he does Die Katana so I can make fun of it. <laughs> Hi, this is Kat's reaction to watching him play Die Katana. <laughs> Decker just screaming. Uh, I'm someone who had done do you think that video. you and Creepy will review Godzilla King of the Monsters? I was supposed to in November, but I screwed up a lot. Yeah. Like yes, October, November, like December, there was a lot of videos I had like, I can do this as these review blocks. And I just didn't get hardly anything done the entire time. See, Ray D, you should have wait you should have had Thick Black Daddy on the stream. He could help you with your video game thing. Yeah. Oh, he can yeah, he, um, he streams. Uh, the man's a streamer. 
Happy 21st Day Officer. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin the Collector. John Tron reviewed Daikatana. That was like one of his first reviews. Yeah. But, um, damn it. Anyone I have something I was going to say. And, and my brain is like, no, no, you can't. No. Memory? No. What is that? Question, have you reviewed Lake Placid? If Decker but, does, yes. Yeah, they, it, does. it was about uh, the crossover on uh, Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Like, we were going to do that in November. Yeah, crossover with Godzilla. Then we had the movie that Lone Dragon wants us to review together. Yeah, so we've got at least two coming up. Oh, Lone what I, was, I remember what I was going to say now. Um, so I found a reaction video that someone did of our Power Rangers Turbo, a Turbo, a Power Rangers movie <laughs> uh, review. And it was actually really favorable. I was like sitting this, I was like, okay, so this entire thing is going to be about how Decker is awesome. And so I it, suck. It's, it's like then, that like, feeling when you're showing someone something you did and it's just like you're sitting there and so, like, you start sweating like... <sighs> Not exactly that bad, but I was I did start off like waiting, just waiting for it to happen. And then the guy was like, actually he he liked both of us. He liked the whole review. He was he was like, okay, so I know it's going to be Decker who like flips his shit out when Justin when you know like the whole about the whole car thing. And then he's like, Oh, it was creepy who flipped out over the whole car thing. <laughs> about, about about the car thing. Uh, yeah. Sebastian Iman donated two Canadian dollars going, Randy Savage was like, I got you for three minutes of playtime. I oh, got you for three minutes of playtime. And... Bonesaw is ready! <laughs> it's so weird, but I remember, I remember first watching uh, the, fir the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. I see Randy Savage and I'm like, that's a fucking Macho Man Randy Savage, what's he doing in this movie? <laughs> What's he doing? I was more excited about that than Spider-Man for like a few minutes and people were like, wow, your inner wrestler nerd just beat your comic book nerd. I go, no, uh, no, no, no. The wrestler nerd suplexed my comic book nerd. Uh, yeah. Nick Pike asks, what is Big Black Daddy's YouTube channel? I don't know, but Thick Black Daddy's YouTube channel is in the description. <laughs> it is Phantom Planet. The planet of the phantoms. Well, at least that's the, you know, it's like use, slash user slash Phantom Planet. Yeah. Uh, has anyone heard of the horror stories of Fort Polk? Why am I? What? Why? No. I don't know. Decker, can you do a voice of Oscar the Grouch? Welcome to Decker doing random impersonations hour. Lone Dragon asks Meth Gators when. We're working on it. I'd say we're shooting for. 2015. 2015, yeah. 2015. <laughs> 2015. 2015. We're gonna. When they invent time machines, we'll release it in 2015. I was like this close to grabbing my TARDIS cookie jar and be like, jump in the fucking TARDIS. But then I remember what's in the TARDIS cookie jar and I am not going to open it. And now I just want to know what's in the TARDIS cookie jar. I'm doing drugs. <laughs> Don't tell them about my freaking meth. <laughs> it's called research. Occupational research. It's a tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> do not do meth, audience. Look how, look how fat I am. I can't do meth. <laughs> This is the body of someone who has never done meth. <laughs> I see people are still firing off fireworks. Mm -hmm. They were firing off fireworks at like, a, before sundown even hit over here with those goddamn mortars. <laughs> oh, mortars? <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently a new mortar, which is usually used for fireworks uh, and farmers mostly, got legalized for normal citizens to buy without, you know, too much hassle. In Florida. America! Oh, fuck you. Freedom! I had the freedom to go buy my mortars, and I had the freedom to... They gave me, like, four tubes with them, so I put two tubes right next to each other, and I had the freedom to put the two mortars in there and tie the little fuses together, and I had the freedom to light that shit and run the fuck away. Not nearly far enough, because that shit had the freedom to get jostled and knock over sideways when one went off. And the other one kind of... Fortunately, that one fired into the lawn, but it was still a little close for comfort, in my opinion. Uh, that sounds like something Florida would do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once again, I find myself uh, wanting to quote the Simpsons. The Simpsons celebrate the independence. Celebrate the independence of your nation by destroying a small part of it. Well, it, 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 it does remind me in Borderlands Three, the achievement for downing yourself with your own grenade is called Florida Man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in either Borderlands Two or the pre-sequel, 
There is a reference to Gerardi from Team Fortress 2. A grenade is basically has the same effects as Gerardi and leaves a yellowing on your body. If you know what Gerardi is in Team Fortress 2, you have a good video game taste. Also, I remember that video. I, I feel like Florida Man is also an award that could go to someone who fights an, uh, giant, uh, fights a very large alligator in a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> remember that video I showed everyone? Yeah, but the Florida Men leave the alligator alone. Yeah. See, this is the weird thing. Like, I love it when people who are not from Florida send me videos of Florida of alligators just roaming the golf carts. I'm like, golf courses. I'm like, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> like, how are you like, so relaxed? I'm like, in Florida, if you don't have a gator in your golf course, your golf course is weird. And isn't a good golf course. Say, everyone shows me that video. Golf I think it is from Florida Florida, Florida of the, the long-haired guy there. with the huge American flag in the middle of the hurricane. <laughs> Why do you have a picture of my ex-boyfriend in the in <laughs> during hurricane? Everyone Carolina? always sends me that video every time that there's a hurricane coming. Like, Decker, is this you? And it's like, I kind of wish, but no. And every time a hurricane's coming, I keep thinking, I should get myself an American flag. I should go and actually make one of these that is actually me. <laughs> but yeah, golf is hardcore in Florida. You have to fight freaking alligators in order to win the well, game. Well, the thing is, well, golf courses have an actual alligator protocol, which is basically don't mess with the alligator. The alligator usually is in the tall grass, and if they're in the water hazards, they have the sign that says, do not harass or molest the alligator. Why? Who in Florida Decker, is molesting this alligator? Decker, Decker, I've been wondering that ever since I saw that sign for the very first time when I was like 18 years old, okay? And you're just like, who molested an alligator? Why would you do that? <laughs> like, you, out of here! Stop molesting the alligators! I gotta put up a sign now! Well, the thing is, someone goes, well, molest doesn't just mean that, you know, the creepy, sexy, no touchy thing. It also means, you know, me you know, touching an alligator. Well, te yeah, te consent. technically, to molest just means to mess with. Yeah, yeah. but it, it was used as the not really saying it way of saying that. But now, if that's what it's been used to describe so much, that's what it means now. Yeah, and I, I mean, like normally when you make a sign for something like that, it means it happened more than once. <laughs> Well, remember, I own a. I times that someone had to make a sign for it. So there's a set of teeny tiny screwdrivers. I think they're either for model making or for electronics, and you know, building small. It's for teeny tiny screwing. Right. Don't think about it too deeply. There is a. <laughs> What's going but on? With the teeny on the tiny screen. What? What's going on with the teeny tiny screwy? <laughs> but on the teeny tiny screwdriver set, it says, and I quote, do not insert into hole of penis. It says that! <laughs> it, yeah, this happened more than once. This happened enough times that they felt that they had to put that Did they, the couldn't they just put urethra? Yeah, or they would be, so the people who would do that would look at that and say, I ain't going no urethra, this going up my cat! <laughs> We haven't had any green glitching. I think I fixed my problem. Yay. I just <sighs> I jinxed it. No, but yeah, it's like I saw that and I'm like, I, 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 going off the rails of a crazy train. Uh, explosions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, explosions are going off. Lou's and the still rockets, sleeping. It's red glare. The bomb's the bomb blowing the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, is that song copyrighted? No. no, that song is open domain. It's been open domain for a while now, long while. Also, everyone, The Great Gatsby is now up under public domain. Which means we're gonna get all the, everyone's gonna make a version of The Great Gatsby. We're gonna get The Great Gatsby horror version. We're gonna get The Great Gatsby freaking referenced in everything. We're gonna have great, have someone's to gonna try and figure out how to make a Great Gatsby video game. I had something to add to this. I had something to add to this. This came up in uh, the chat with my boyfriends earlier today. They wanted to see a Muppets adaptation of The Great Gatsby. You know, that I'm okay that with. I'm okay with. Yeah. I, I, I can't accept that. Listen, I remember there was a thing on Twitter going, name a movie. Basically, it's the Muppets. You have everyone replaced with Muppets except for one actor. So, you know, like, and everyone's like, clue! Tim Curry's already dealt with Muppets before. This would be great. Now, how many people out there are not going to realize it's just the original story that is public domain right now? Not everything that has ever been made involving Great Gatsby. All the TV, all the movies that are out there right now are not public domain. We are very aware of, It's like the Phantom of the Opera musical. The musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber is copyrighted. The book mm -hmm. it is based on, on the other hand. It is public domain. Yeah, Vidima pointed this out in her 
What was that? What was the slasher uh, musical movie that she she reviewed? The fuck! I stage fright. Yeah, stage fright. Yeah, and she said, you know, like, and she brought up this very point. You know, it's like this poster of the Andrew Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. This is copyrighted poster of the book. This is public domain. You know, that is why, why there are so many Phantom of the Opera. Just Muppets saw. The blood would be more realistic. Well, I, I just imagine <laughs> like. <laughs> Get some scissors. Actually, ah! for and just sew Anna. it back <laughs> on. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, but like that's the reason why there's so many Phantom of the Opera plays and stage productions that are not. And everyone keeps going, "Why are they knocking off Andrew Lloyd Webber?" I'm like, "No, no, no, the book's in public domain." <laughs> Great Gatsby musical. Great Gatsby musical. Wait, Billy the puppet could actually stay the same in the Muppet Saw. Yeah, technically, yes. <laughs> But you need at least one human actor for it to count for a Muppet movie, you know. Ah. True. Ooh, Jigsaw himself could actually be the human. True. Unless you wanted Gonzo to play j- j- Jigsaw. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like, right, listen, listen. Gonzo is currently in my production of Pride and Prejudice. Don't ruin this. <laughs> He's Mr. Darcy. It's very funny. <laughs> I was thinking of that. I was thinking of Miss Piggy and Gonzo. Like, Miss Piggy is what was her name? Damn, what's her name? The, the... Uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh... Yeah, yeah. In Pride and Prejudice, the the main female lead. Yeah, she she plays her, and Gonzo plays Darcy. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Why isn't Why isn't Kermit the Frog with her?" Well, they technically did break up, according to the canon of the Mumpies TV show. They did break up. Yeah, they did break up. Yeah, and it was only in Muppet Babies that Gonzo had a thing for Miss Piggy. It, it was like, yeah. a, a, so apparently this was just a childhood crush he had. By the time he got older, he realized Miss Piggy was quite a, kind of crazy, and maybe he should just like all of them. <laughs> And that's why he's now in love with a chicken. Muppet yeah. the Exorcist. Much, much healthier relationship. <laughs> will the pea soup be pea soup, or will it be streamers? I need to know right now for, for hilarity's sake. Ah, the poll has finished. Uh, flowery flamethrower, a uh, flamethrower, Fluff Salisbury says Sam the Eagle has to be j- Jigsaw. Oh, oh wow! That was <laughs> I'm just picturing him complaining about all the plot inconsistencies. He would basically be doing Decker's job for him. And Decker, I just like. Can we do a Muppet Meth Gator movie? Muppet Meth Gators, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll stick to. But we'll stick to we have we have the poll. It has completed with 76 oh. votes. Oh, Lone Dragon, you're horrible. What? 50 Shades of Grey, Muppet Edition. Ew! Oh. Ew! Gross! Anyway. The Muppets are better. Anyway, the Twitter poll has completed. For the New Year's yes, resolution for 2021, 76 votes total at 9.2%. Coming in at fourth place is that my diet starts on Monday. See, no one does no, diet anymore. No one cares about even putting that off. They're like, no. Nah. Mm-mm. Forget it. Muppet Halloween. At 25%, we have Get Fat, Happy, and Laid. And at 27.6%, more Decker and Creepy crossovers, meaning coming in at a whopping 38.2 is to get Creepy's channel back. The veins right. in my arms. All right, everyone, uh, we fight at dawn. Bring your pitchforks, remember. Okay, who's going to lead the Gaston singing? Muppy Rocket Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I would want to see that. I Can Tim Curry see. still be human? Can Tim Curry still be Dr. Frankenfurter? That is Tim, all Tim I am asking. Yeah, uh, Tim Curry will still be Dr. Frankenfurter. Uh, I'm Alima said, get God, Creep Channel back friend, 2021. Yeah. And Bioexorcist says that YouTube just doesn't feel the same without Creepy. Aww. Thank you. Thank you very much. No! No! Ethan, no! I don't want- No! What? I don't know what- What, what did he say? Just what imagine! Say? Fifty Shades of Grey, Muppets Edition! Traumatizing! Yeah. See, I'm- I'm- I'm here like- I'm so close to 200,000 subscribers, and I'm like, I gotta work hard to get there. I know a lot of people will be like, shoot for a million. I'm like, nah, YouTube has been kind of screwing the channel lately. So I'm just going to try and shoot for the 200,000 right now. You're like me. I'm just like, I just want to hit 10,000. Actually, no, I want to hit 5,000. I just like to have active watchers, to be perfectly honest. 
Well, the tough oh. thing there is YouTube just not sending stuff out. Yeah, right. the pro. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Tammy and the T-Rex didn't do too great, but I feel like it would have done a little better if YouTube had actually told people that it existed. Yeah. I know a few um, comments there on Twitter and such uh, people saying, hey, I didn't even realize you put up the last video. YouTube hasn't shown me anything you've put up in a while. Right. And that's, you know, I know part of that. I, I could say it's my fault because I know exactly what's causing it, but it is also frustrating the fact that YouTube wants you to just keep churning stuff out. Keep doing it. Keep putting it out. Otherwise, keep they're going to be like, money, well, your recent views are lower than usual, so we're just going to show your stuff to less people. Huh. Your views so went down. down even more. Guess we'll show your stuff to even less people. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's time nice. to unsubscribe some people from you. <laughs> All that fun I, stuff. We'll right uh, back Squir back for like, Squirmy and Grubs yeah. were talking about, like, uh, you know Squirmy and Grubs? Personally, no. No, I don't know At personally all? either, no. but the, no. the YouTube channel, Squirmy and Grubs, uh, no. Shane Burkaw and his wife. No. He's disabled. Decker, she's not. Decker, I only watch you. Because <laughs> well, that's a lie. Charlie and I like to watch Squirmy and Grubs. It's an interabled couple. We're an interabled couple. Aww. Uh, Love on the battlefield. I, what? But uh, they were mentioning things about, you know, YouTube unsubscribing people from their channel. And yes, it's kind of shown proof that that, that was happening because uh, it's like her, was it her mother or his mother? One of their mothers who was subscribed to them was magically unsubscribed. Because <laughs> YouTube decided they don't really care about watching their kid anymore. <laughs> they don't care about being yeah. subscribed to them. Fuck How it. dare! They, they, they were asking, like, hey, why aren't you posting anything anymore? And they're like, I am. A lot of things. We posted quite a bit. And I come to find out YouTube unsubscribed the parent from <laughs> their, their child. Because it... Uh, YouTube's infinite wisdom. What's YouTube's... Did you see that Twitter post floating around? Which... But there's a lot of posts on Twitter. Okay, rephrasal. Uh, one of them was floating around where a guy was like, hey, at YouTube, maybe not put uh, commercials in in front of uh, first aid videos. Well, I had to watch an ad for Red Lobster while my grandma was choking on a dinner bone. And then Twitter responded going, if you, you know, did the subscription, you know, that subscription service that they have, you oh. can be ad free. I'm sitting here going, okay, I'm going to pray to God. It was just an auto response and not an actual human. Oh God, this is the feeling of the 21st century okay. right here. It was this like, is some Futurama shit. <laughs> Yeah. What, David? Twenty two. Secretly knitting. This isn't a secret, my dude. <laughs> the scarf is growing. My mom is like looking at my net net ball, my my yarn ball, and is going, "I gotta buy more yarn for you again, don't I?" Uh, Robert Sterling, may I ask what the fuck? I'm on it. <laughs> I'm doing the magic. I guess not what we do. We, we, we live and we wide. We talk about entertainment and stuff. I was just talking uh, about the KF console a while ago. We don't have that much news this time around. That's why we're talking about Muppet movies we want to see. Oh, yeah. What are my... I'm knitting a scarf. All I do are rectangles, people. Scarves, blankets, potholders, afghans. No, Decker, I'm not going to learn how to knit socks. They're really called afghans? Afghans. Damn it, I... That, when I was young, it was always like nafghan. No, Afghan. And I'm like, okay, Nafghan. I guess that's the correct pronunciation. All Afghan, this time I've been Afghan. saying Nafghan, sounded like an idiot. <laughs> it's Afghan. I also can do Pashmina. I am 37 years old! <laughs> he doesn't know how to pronounce Afghan, that creepy. I know how to pronounce Nafghan! <laughs> Decker, I can also do a Pashmina. Likes to see if Decker asks what the hell's a Pashmina. I was wondering that too, actually. It's a very, very thick scarf. <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly. Hold on, my Hamtaro knowledge is weak. That's the only reason why I know the word Pashmina. When we work to... Oh, wait, I can't say, sorry. Disney <laughs> and Lucasfilm has been making fun of and bullying fans. Newsworthy. Oh, no. Uh, Pashmina refers to a fine variant of spun cashmere, the animal hair fiber from the downy underclick of a goat. 
It's basically it's. So do we it's have an article. Do we have context? I know it's kind of hard to say that. Well, maybe in context, this bullying is okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's well, never we, any good we need context a little bit for bullying. More to go on is basically what we're saying. We need more to go on. Yeah, just like Disney and Lucasfilm bullying fans don't like. What exactly is the situation? Is what I'm. Right. What, what are the well, details? Well, because if it's. If it's like Lucasfilm telling the fans to stop being assholes to the actors and quit being a bunch of racist or sexist pricks, I'm like, that's not bullying. That's telling you guys to kill the fuck out. Because I know they're... Maybe this is just what I have experienced. Well, I also don't like it when companies like to say, hey, anyone who has a problem with this is a racist and sexist piece of shit. Because I'm like, if I hear Neil fucking Druckmann come out one more time and say that <laughs> him, my fiancé not enjoying the fucking abuse that he put onto her called The Last of Us 2 is just because she's a racist, sexist piece of shit, I'm going to fucking... No, we're, <laughs> no, we're talking about people who actually harassed John Boyega, the actress who was in Star Wars World 1, you know... That kind of harassment. We're talking about like actual, you know, not like we're accusing you of being this because you don't like it. We're, we've seen this shit. We want you to stop this shit. Kind of scenario. Scenario. I think I, the, the only awards thing I saw where The Last of Us 2 got a whole bunch of awards where I was looking at it like, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That deserves it. Was uh, for the, uh, the... Biggest Disappointment Award? No, the, 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 the thing you shared earlier, Kat, the, uh... The site oh. for disabled gamers and gamers. such. And yeah, it, it was all accessibility awards and such. And they actually lost one of them to uh, another game that I haven't personally played, but I have a hard time believing that it could have actually been better than The Last of Us 2 for that, because The Last of Us 2, and ex the accessibility section, fucking leagues above everything else. It is yeah, uh, fantastic accessibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why you'd want to experience it, but you can. No matter your um, ability, you don't even have to be able to see to play The Last of Us Two. David play uh, twenty two donated two dollars. Going, can you knit t shirts and underwear? Asking for a friend. Uh, you can if you have the pattern. You know what the hell you're doing. Can I do it? Nope. Again, all I do are rectangles and squares because it's simple and I don't have to think about it. And I can just do this during a D and D session and no one questions it. DS, uh, uh, Doom Eternal yeah, lost an award to Last of Us Two. Oh, the uh, Game Awards, I... Last of Us 2 won a whole ton of them, and it was like, uh... That's when I went on Twitter, and I was like, I swear The Last of Us 2 is like that bad relationship you get out of, but every couple of weeks they just show up outside drunk as shit <laughs> telling you how stupid you are for letting them go. Uh, Azo, Azo has been saying this, and I keep missing it. Uh, hey, strangers, new subscriber here. Sorry for your loss of your channel again, creepy. Um... Uh, Untap Tip Top says, you could make a, the next trend of rectangular undries. We call those loincloths, my dude. And here is Decker showing up the latest fashion of loincloth. Why is Decker doing it? He needed money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, How you know, we were looking for merchandise to, to sell. I am not getting well, merchandise C for the CJEMM5D fan. CJEMM5D asks, How did Last of Us to get all those awards? Uh, it's because money. the weight given to the votes was for the total total chance of getting the reward, about 10% was counted from the player's vote and 90% from the critics. So unless the critics are really split on something, uh, it was uh, your, the player's vote didn't mean a damn thing. I thought it was like how they did it back in old Hollywood days. Is basically everyone bought out the judges. Old Hollywood That's days? That's why... Current Hollywood days, too. But... <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you sell your... We didn't you have merchandise? We have merchandise in Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Uh, we still have it. I, 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 the thing is, I've used Teespring and all the, uh, you know, the basic kind of Cafe Press style, sort of the Streamlabs merch, and it's always the same problem where people were like, hey, we'd like some merch, and then I try and make it through that system, and it's like, hey, why is this so fucking expensive? It's like, like that. because that's the minimum I can price it at. I'm getting that's like a quarter per sale. Yeah, so, that's my issue with Redbubble. Yeah, I was I was thinking since I know how to use a silk screen, it might actually be better for me to just invest in a silk screen, get some t-shirts yeah. and make some custom merch madame self and then just kind of sell it at like half the price and three times the profits. Mm, you could do that, Decker. I mean, I considered making my own cuz I considered actually making my own keychains using shrinky dink paper. 
because there is a special shrinky dink paper that basically you can just print shit out on and then i remember how evil my printer is ah and then my mom's like we'll just buy you a new printer no <laughs> direct sales preserved animal skills oh those do take a while though i know a guy who used to work in pools that actually would sell skeletons he'd find in the pools like did he actually clean them out or yeah 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 he cleaned the pools out and basically when you found skeletons he kept them Took him to no, his, uh... I mean, did he clean the damn skeleton? Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> yeah. He had a... He had a thing. What, exactly? What falls in a pool, creepy? Possum. Oh, I was thinking that he found, like, human skeletons <laughs> at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, so... And I'm just here concerned, like, well, at least did he clean the guy? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like... You know, <laughs> Alex can like, throw like, on my head. head. I'm just trying to wrap my head around. <laughs> I think he went to a crime scene where a guy drowned in a, where like a kid drowned in a pool and took the <laughs> Weirder things on the internet, okay? <laughs> there are weirder things in Florida. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, yes, and on a, another point, we are talking about Florida and the internet <laughs> together in the same sentence, so yeah. Uh, New Dog Prime donated two do two pounds. Going only, I only want a thousand subs. I like have. Oh, I, I guess in reference to uh, what we want to achieve with our with our hey, YouTube. Hey, flamethrower Salisbury steak. You and I live in the same county. Congratulations. We live in meth country. It would be very nice to get uh, Creepy's channel just back and all the stuff that was nuked, like restored. That'd be very Ooh. nice. I don't think YouTube even has it anymore. Like, yeah. you know, I know of exactly one person who was able to get their channel back after YouTube wiped it out. And, like, all of their videos were restored and everything. And this was done, like, within a uh, few days after their channel was deleted. And then it was deleted a second time shortly afterward, and they never got it back. <sighs> they had to start over from the... They had to start over from the ground up. And they have yet to get the fan base that they had before back. Uh, because, yeah, because I, since they had lost their channel, since their channel was deleted, this YouTube had their new guidelines put in, so, yeah. Their stuff is not circulated the way it used to be. I love it when uh, the head of YouTube is like, we are working on transparency. Lady, this is how you work on transparency. You tell the damn truth and you be honest with us. If a five-year-old can understand this concept, why can't you? Oh, man. Why is my phone dinging? I, phone? I, see, I just see Lou all like stirring and like rolling over and trying to find better positions to sleep in. Good luck, Lou. <sighs> Big trouble in some kind of Muppet edition. <laughs> There's a lot of Muppet movies I could have. I know, right? Muppet Great Gatsby. I've, I, I have seen, one. I have seen little comic, little little artwork of Muppet Alien. I've seen artwork of someone doing a Muppet version of Sweeney Todd, and it's a uh, Kermit the Frog, and he's like, "At last, <clears throat> hello, Kermit the Frog here." At last, my arm is complete again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. <sighs> Sorry. I like wait, how YouTube's wait. terms of service says don't lawyer your way around it. <laughs> yeah. You tell me to not do it, but I'm from Florida. You know what I naturally do? Uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like whenever I go through YouTube's TOS, the, the community guidelines, all the all of the stuff they say about you know, well, well your agreements and this and that and the other, it's everything is written just to cover YouTube's ass. And effectively, they can delete your channel at any time for any reason. And there's they don't really need to be specific about anything, which is why it's kind of difficult to try and hold their feet to the fire because they. They do pretend that it's that they have standards, they have strict rules, and these rules are broken. But then it's trying to point, get them to say what rules specifically. How was it broken? These videos over here are fine. These videos over there are fine. Why is this one not when these can stay? And that's when they kind of hamana, hamana, hamana around. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Ooh, ooh. I just had an idea for a Muppets movie. 
Because someone said Soylent mm-hmm. Green Muppets. I was like, the stuff Muppets. Hmm. <laughs> but would the stuff still be it? liquid, or would it just be the fluffy, like, cotton? It's still gonna be liquid, Decker. Uh... The stuff isn't an actor. Well, I just said, but fluffy liquid, it's the stuff that's actually in them. But the stuff isn't made out of human. That's Soylent Green that's made out of people. Oh, God. Spoiler alert for a God knows how old movie. <laughs> uh, I love I love doing that. It was like, spoiler alert for a 50-year-old movie. Oh, yeah. Actual jail time on the proposed copyright. I think we talked about that in the last Live and Wired. We don't speak of it. <laughs> where it's like, if you get a DMCA claim, that wouldn't just immediately knock the stuff down. It's like, that's the whole thing with the Digital Millennium Copyright Act is like, the old copyright laws, you had to prove stuff and then the punishment came. This one, the punishment can come before you actually prove anything. Yeah, uh, and it's guilty until innocent. But this enhances that so the punishment isn't just removing the content or blocking the channel or any of these things. It, that's, the, the, the punishment can include fines and jail time. Right, All without it. having to actually prove he did anything wrong in the first place. So if a kid happens to just be doing a video game Let's Play and it's Minecraft, and you know, Minecraft sounds most likely are copyright. I don't know how Mo- how Microsoft feels about Mojang. You know, their copyright issues. And like, he gets a copyright claim. This little 13-year-old boy is going to go to jail. Well, it's a, not just that. It's, the, it's not just the people who actually own the copyrights. It's the... Damn companies out there that don't give a damn and just like to see about striking things. I'm pretty sure those companies wouldn't be as interested in getting government fines, like getting money directly out of them given to the government instead of to them, and uh, sending people to jail, which people would notice a lot more and probably be like, hey, why the fuck are you doing this when you don't even have the rights to this shit? Yeah, and then Uh, everyone would come up there with freaking pitchforks and anger. Hopefully. What's what's with me and the pitchforks lately? Ah, it's pitchfork season. No, it's not. It's not fall anymore. It's fucking winter. I just mean, like, it's the world. Oh, okay. (sighs) Animal Farm with Muppets. Oh, for the love of God, that's just... No, not the Animal Farm. The Muppet DeLorean? God damn it. (laughs) You're not crying, donated $2 going, wouldn't that be called the fluff, not the stuff, if we did... The Muppet version. <laughs> I did too much head banging on New Year's <laughs> Eve. My neck still hurts. Decker. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you a very weird question. Do you have a thing that vibrates? <laughs> you don't have to tell me what the thing is. Do you have thing that vibrates you can put on your neck? I he does, but he cannot do it while we're on camp. No, I, I was gonna. I say- have a s- vibrating seat cover that I got Charlie <laughs> for Christmas. Aww. I just like said I was like just sit back and like it'll vibrate on my neck and I'll be like ah and it's also got a warming section too which will also help with the sore muscles okay at least it's a chair <laughs> Decker has a vibrating bidet no I have an oscillating massaging bidet well, good. Use the massaging feature. See if it that just makes the spray go like strong and weak real fast. The oscillating oh. makes the spray go back and forth. You can turn both on at the same time. Take oh, a shit. And it's like. An oil can yeah. on your <laughs> See, that's why the. Thinking of it. You know you were. Whether you wanted to or not, that was in your mind. No, it wasn't. I was a sweet, innocent young child. <laughs> Flamethrower Fluff Salisbury says, Cat. My kid just walked in and said he wants a movie with Grady Judd shooting at Muppets. (laughs) Maybe not one of them, but we're not going to talk about that one. Would you review books so you could have an easier time on YouTube? Books would be harder to uh, get caught, but at the same time, they still look for that. Yeah. I'm creepy. I think you got in trouble before for a book. Dominic, no, on your first for channel? I'm not trying to bring up bad memories. I'm trying to bring up examples. I know Dominic, Dominic Noble, not only does he do comparisons to movies to books to see, you know, how much they left out and all that jazz, which I recommend if anyone wants to watch something when Decker hasn't uploaded in a while. Right. I actually do like, <laughs> I actually do like Dom's channel. 
Yeah, uh, he also does review books. He did a reviewing of um, Amish romance novels a while back. <laughs> and then there was also him reviewing um, shifter romance novels. I, I'm just, I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder if I could send him one of my books and have him do a, and if he would consider doing it. I think if you donate to his Patreon, he says, if you do have a book you wish for me to review, I can. Oh. It's a Muppet version of I Spit on Your Grave. No! A strange no. thing! Over the last week, one day, the, the I Spit on Your Grave review just suddenly got 2,000 views out of nowhere. Don't look at me. And I was like, oh god, this isn't going to be going viral, is it? And then it didn't. And I'm like, well, good, but bad. Oh, <laughs> but Zach, you're recreating the one scene that you didn't recreate in the movie and you used your friend's dolls was such a compelling scene. I bought those dolls. I Why went out and spent think... money so that I wouldn't have to... <laughs> Timothy Armstrong says, Hey, Kat, if you like D&D, can you... Why does everyone think I review? Uh, review R.A. Salvador's books on your channel. I don't... Go to my channel and notice what's on. I don't review shit. I mean, I review characters' good-lookingness in video games that I play. That counts, right? I review this butt 10 out of 10. <laughs> that makes me... That, that counts Let's... as reviewing, right? This sounds like a fucking lawnmower. <laughs> Decker, are you in a horror movie where a killer lawnmower can fly? It's like 9 p.m. Some people like to mow in the dark, Decker. I like to see mm. the lawn I'm cutting. Decker, do you really need to see the lawn? Yes! You just plug in, you just plug in your headphones, you break out to the song, cut to the feeling, and you just cut the lawn. Now, I need my scythe if I'm not going to be... You know, I'm going to be going around in the dark and... Ah. Can I have a scythe? Just... For the movie or for your own personal use? My you're own gonna personal get, your, your back muscles are going to get swole and you might start looking like all... My, never mind. Scythe it is! Decker, no! <laughs> uh, how Mom, is my dear. cat? My cat is sleeping on top of the... Dresser. Muppet Blair Witch Project. Oh god, it'd only be three Muppets. Miss Piggy has to be the girl. <laughs> Mupp Muppet Blair Witch 2. We don't speak of Blair Witch 2. <laughs> oh, Nicole's like, well, maybe they're blind and that's why they're mowing the lawn. Okay, fair point. But if you're blind. Why are you mowing the lawn if you're blind? Why don't you have a room, those mowing Roombas? Which I don't know why Decker hasn't invested in one yet. <laughs> because it's always rainy and we got a lake. Is You know you can map out where the Roomba goes, right? Also, I have 25 acres. Buy 25 Roombas. One for each acre. <laughs> they cost several hundred Ooh. dollars each. I mean, yes, Blair Witch 2 is at least entertaining, but if you turn off that one part of your brain and start drinking. I gave up drinking. <laughs> Stop laughing. Scythe, <laughs> cat, Decker, no! Can't keep Decker alone for shark pointy object. Oh, 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 Decker, I know what you can do, but I want to know, are you allergic to alpaca? Decker, this is a serious question. Are you allergic to alpaca? I, no. Or goat? No. Get a goat! alpaca they eat the lawn yeah but goats have those weird eyes that slant sideways then that's why and then they the rotate alpaca. when they go Decker, then get an alpaca shear the alpaca give me the fur anyway sebastian dropped to another canadian dollar thank you very much thank you again goats goats get some alpacas get the alpacas decker you can have alpacas roaming on your 25 acres they can eat the grass you can shear the shear the alpacas and give me the fur and then I can have alpaca sweaters I, and scarves. I, I, uh, Decker, you could also sell the alpaca yarn for really high amounts of money because alpaca yarn is expensive as fuck. Mm. <laughs> Sir? Gotta, you, you gotta get Decker's money interest involved. Also, what the fuck is well, my I scarf still got doing? a lot of work to do on Matif. True. Decker, just sell a kidney. But I need Doesn't, my kidneys too. <laughs> I didn't say I had to be. Those. Can I point out? I said sell a kidney. I didn't say sell your kidney. Oh. See, I'm being as I'm being as vague as the YouTube guidelines. <laughs> I'm queen of that. 
<laughs> That's why I put large googly eyes on the goat's eyelids, so you don't have to look at their weird eyes. You so, could also do what a lot. You could also do what a lot of people do is um. Uh, uh, they put uh, pool noodles on their horns. Odester says, "Sell your teeth." Yeah, technically, how many people out there? How, what would they be willing to pay for a good Decker tooth on eBay? Then again, eBay doesn't allow you to sell human remains, do they? Uh, actually, you can get away with it on Etsy if you make it into some form of art, aka you can sell jewelry made out of. Uh, fossilized moose poop. Copper lights? Okay. Yeah. Copper lights. Also, Decker, you can sell gallstones as jewelry. They actually sell for a pretty penny, especially depending on the size of the gallstone. Yeah, but getting one is kind of a pain. Yeah, that's a good point. They don't have to be your gallstones. <laughs> Damn, right. like, can it's I have like, I, uh, the next, uh, no, The next thing I have to do is... The two front teeth, uh, root canal and crown. All he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. That's I'm that's sorry. gonna be the next four thousand dollar operation. Mm. And it, it's it? Uh, do you know what the root canal and crown is effectively for that? What they do? Expensive as fuck, and I don't want to think about the price. They're gonna take. They're they're gonna hopefully numb the hell out of me, and then they're gonna effectively chop these teeth off. At the oh, base. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. they're going to drill into my jawbone through the roots. And then they're going to fill that up with like little plaster. And then they're going to stick a fake tooth on the end on both. Hey, Decker. And hope for the you... best. Hey, Decker. Why don't you do what my grandma did, which basically get all her teeth replaced? I'm working on that very slowly. It's expensive. Uh, the Grey Turtle Entertainment goes, It's concerning Decker isn't the one promoting selling alpaca and human remains. Why is that we <laughs> Actually, no. With me, it's not. It is normal. Yeah, is that Florida? It's not just the Florida thing. Yes, it's a Florida. Very... I was a very goth kid teenager. I was very obsessed with death to the level of Victorian levels. It's so is Charlie, and she's also from Florida. So you're saying all girls from Florida just go through a really massive goth phase and never leave it, even though... Leave it. Yes. From your assumption of meeting two girls from Florida. Yes. That's not a large enough sample size. Your research is embarrassing. Yes. Your research is right up there with an asylum film. God. Your research is up there with a freaking game theory video. What are you talking about? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Annabelle, there is nothing wrong with being goth. I am still goth at heart. Look at all this I, black I wear. I wonder if this one's from Florida. Uh, there's a little bit of news about Bloomhouse is going to be make a making a movie telling a true story of a mother who hunted cartel members after they murdered her daughter. Go yeah, on. Cartel. That is a badass mom. I was about to say one say motherhood. It. Uh, cartel. The cartel is usually Hispanic, so Florida, Texas, Mexico. Oh, so this is actually a somewhat recent uh, thing. Earlier this month, the New York Times published an article entitled She Stalked Her Daughter's Killers Across Mexico One by oh, One, yeah. which told the true story of Miriam Rodriguez, mother who hunted cartel members who murdered her daughter and took justice into her own hands. Yes! And they, they just sold the movie rights to Bloomhouse. <laughs> Well, usually they're. I, I'm sorry. I guess because it's so violent and graphic, they didn't sell it to Lifetime. No, li she has Lifetime, she'd have to get caught and beaten, and I guess that didn't happen. Yeah, that or they would have to put a very awkward scene with the daughter that we don't speak about. You know what we're talking about. Anyone who's watched the Lifetime movie knows what we're talking about. Lifetime television. Oh, movie. so it says like no, the the, the actual like real life, real life, life thing life. that happened here is a 56 year old Miriam Rodriguez paid multiple ransoms to the Mexican cartel after her 14 year old daughter was kidnapped in 2014, and the police did nothing concrete to help her during that time. So she they went herself. they went Liam Neeson mode and they hunted Taken. the bastards down themselves. Did she find her daughter? Uh, considering the fact that they said in the opening scroll she died, I assume. No. Did she find the body at least? We don't know. No. A uh, lone dragon donated two dollars. Sorry, I missed this lone dragon. Uh, M M Muppet Magic Mike. No. <laughs> okay, so she eventually hunted them down and such in 2017. 
Air Jaws, they bore me too. These movies are not meant for women. They're born for, made by men who think they know what women want. I am sorry. Uh, I heard Muppet Magic Mike, and I'm reminded of the opening scene in Magic Mike with the Magic Mike with the "It's Raining Men" number, and I'm oh, seeing yeah. Muppets. In the place of the Don't ruin it. That's my anime husband fighter. <laughs> anywho, anyhow, Don't anyway, ruin anywho, it. Anywho, Don't ruin it. I. Mm. Muppet meth gators. Okay, first we have to make meth gators. No, Muppet Cat. Muppets. I will say you ruined my hero academia for me. You've said that every time we. I'm saying game. on Christmas Eve the kids were over and the one daughter was there showing me her my little my Hero Academia toy she got and I'm there like. Ah! <laughs> wait wait, what character? What character was it? What she, character was it? She goes like this and floats. Oh, that's Araraka. She's adorable. Eurivity is a great ca character. You're, you're, she, she's a good character. And no, I never. I'd like to point out I never do any of the creep any of the art of the students. Only the adults. The adults are fair game. But she's a do Decker! Decker! Did I really ruin My Hero Academia yes. for you? Decker, do you want me to come over and we can watch My Hero Academia together? Sledgehammer! No! My Hero Academia. No, I'm gonna end up having to do that. What, Sledgehammer or My Hero Academia? Sledgehammer. Listen, uh, Decker, My Hero Academia is a great have movie. Tim Conway or Steve Martin as a dentist. Which one's Tim Conway? Tim Conway's the one from the horror movie called The Dentist. I didn't see The Dentist. I did see Little Shop of Horrors, Steve Martin. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll a, be a dentist, dentist number. <laughs> I love that. You want to know what's messed up? I had to go to the dentist one time for an emergency uh, tooth pull, right? One, I was listening to music to wake myself up. You want to know what the first song that played on my MP3 player was? Dentist from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> and I was just looking at my thing, and I just threw my MP3 player in my mom and stared at it, and my mom's like, it's becoming sentient, dear. No! <laughs> You oh, I, I, I just remember my mother telling me a story about when she was like waiting in the emergency room and it's just playing on the little speakers in there. They got the radio on and it's like, it hurts so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Becker, someone's recommending an anime called uh, Reincarn the I Got Reincarnated as a Slime or How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Actually, I've seen uh, how uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and it's actually pretty good. Hmm. There's also the one about the guy who basically is the shield hero. That's a pretty good one. Muppet Attack on Titan. How would that work? Would you have actual naked men just like, Rah! just trying to eat Muppets? Yes, Decker. Uh, Great Turtle Entertainment. Yes, this is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper that I'm using on my screen. Thank you. Someone noticed. Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite Disney attractions. Why well does Decker not like My Hero Academia? I've seen them fucking too much. I'd like to point out, I like. I don't retweet the art that I support, and Decker just happens to not turn off the seeds of what my friends like. <laughs> and Decker just keeps constantly seeing the All Might porn. And <sighs> listen, I put in some female heroes in my likes too, so you can send, randomly get some naked women on your on your timeline. Who is the that? dominatrix lady with the whip? That's Midnight. Why, you like her? What is her power other than fucking... Okay, her ability basically <laughs> is her skin produces a gas that basically knocks men out. So she has... What? She sweat farts? No! <laughs> no, it's her skin re produces like this weird gas. And basically it makes men knock out, doesn't work as well in women. And uh, basically the reason why she's so dressed provocatively is because she has to have as much skin exposed whenever she needs it. I love those powers and abilities that just give you an excuse to have Sorry. your skin always out. Sorry, it's not, it's not a gas, it's a pheromone. Sorry! It's kind of like, kind of like uh, Scarlet in Mortal Kombat, where they had, you know, the lore reason why she has to run around in that bikini. It's because, because she needs the skin exposed to touch the blood, because that's how she gets her sustenance. And then Mortal Kombat it? 11 put her in a burqa. Isn't they didn't? Isn't there a character from Metal Gear Solid who's basically like that? Because she basically uh, yeah, is uh, quiet. Quiet, yeah. Where she it, it, 
she plants, rolls around in water, breathes something. I don't know. Photosynthesis, Decker. Photosynthesis. She's not green. She doesn't have the. Uh... <laughs> you need chlorophyll to photosynthesize, and chlorophyll is green. I'm turning Decker into a plant to annoy him. Where is this woman's green skin, is what I'm asking you. It's under the bikini. Her nipples are green, Decker. Well, then shouldn't her nipples be out? <laughs> and nothing else? Let's have her in a full set of body armor with just exposed nipples. Decker, I figured out what you can cosplay as for next Halloween. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Uh, yes! Decker, get in the full body suit and paint your nips green. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look like a freaking sexy. <laughs> the audience is not oh. reacting to this. No, wait, sorry. Some audience members are going, yes, Decker cosplay this. Oh, man. Uh. I laughed so hard that that actually hurt a little bit. Uh, $2 from Lone Dragon going, can we get some more love for my man, Creepy? We just gave him some love, giving him the mental image of Decker in a full body gimp suit with his nipples exposed and painted green. What more do you want? <laughs> <sighs> that does remind me that I have to finish my game. The ga game I'm making. Need to need to put more work into it. Oh god, we also have to finish Meth Gator. Yeah, we gotta finish Meth Gators. You just work on your Meth Gators, I'll work on my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'll just go find a giant gator and give it meth now. That's cheaper! Decker. Just find gator. Find meth everywhere in Florida. Put it together, get your camera. Decker, it is only available in Polk County. That's where the meth is. Everywhere else is cocaine and heroin. It's not and only we... available in Polk County. That'll be where it's cocaine most... dial comes in. Cocaine dial's happening in Miami. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. The McRib? Yeah. I haven't I I've never had a McRib. It reminds me too much of the quote. It reminds me too much of the rib sandwiches my school gave me. Now, if you know what the meat is in school cafeteria see, lunch and meat. See, yeah. uh, when I was in elementary school, they had, didn't have rib sandwiches, but they had ribs sometimes. And it, it was ribs. just, no, it wasn't actual ribs. It was just this patty that was shaped like ribs in the that's, sauce. Yep, so they just gypped us out on the bread, I guess. Yeah, uh, they gave us the bread. Yeah, you know that most of the meat in school cafeteria food that when we were in school is mostly like soy and plant-based products and yeast. No real meat. So all those kids who were all like, my family's raised me vegetarian. I have to have vegetarian. Lady, the meat is not real meat. Yeah. But, uh, uh, it's like when uh, when the the, the, uh, the rib witch episode of The Simpsons. Right. Uh, uh, Krusty Burger had the rib witch and, and and then Krusty the Clown had to come out and say they canceled the rib witch because the animal they made it out of has gone extinct. Cow, pig, chicken. No, no, no. Think, 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 think smaller and more legs. <laughs> Cockroach. Um, Sebastian Emon donated two Canadian dollars. Going. Speaking of gimp suits, Muppet Pulp Fiction. The Muppet Rocky Horror Picture Show. Someone no mentioned that already. I'd that like that I think that would do very well, and I want it. Because you want Tim Curry to be running around as Doctor Frankenfurter a bunch of, around a bunch of Muppets. <laughs> I don't think that he could do Doctor Frankenfurter again. Well, let's pretend we have a time machine. And we Tim can Curry classic... can be in the wheelchair, or he could be the narrator. Well, he did that for that Rocky Horror Picture Show thing starring Laverne Cox. He was actually the narrator for that one. Yeah, and that was the only good thing, and barely a good thing. I do not like. They. Mm. I can't remember the name of the doctor who was in the wheelchair. Doctor Frankenfurter or no. Doctor Scott? Doctor Scott. Scott. Doctor Scott. Rocky. Janet. Uh. Brad. <laughs> Doctor Scott. Janet. Promise me, dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> what is this, rat? You promise me, dog, or better. <laughs> What did you put in my coffee? Sweet and low. I said put urine in it. 
But yeah, I never. I remember when the McRib started becoming a thing, and I was kind of tempted to try it, but I never did. And in hindsight, I feel like I'm better for it. Yeah, you're not. See, I just, over it. I just like getting fast food sometimes. So yeah, I remember. It's it's one. Fast. It's it's what I consider a guilty pleasure is going out to eat shitty food. You want a deep fried Twinkie Decker? You have to understand. It wasn't until I was like 35 years old that I actually became capable of saying, hey, I'm hungry and I want to eat this thing and I can go out and do that, not even really think about it, and not end up regretting it later because, hey, now I can't pay my bills. It took me until 35 to get to that point in my life. Aww. So I'm just, I, I'm still kind of in the honeymoon phase, I think, of just being like, hmm. <laughs> I can just go out and get myself a couple of uh, a couple of double cheeseburgers. Yeah. That'd be uh, nice. Gray Turtle Entertainment goes. Oh so god, that have... that reminds me. I was going to mention. Sorry, I was going to mention because in the start of 2020, I had mentioned how 2020, how 2019 was better than 2018 in a lot of the metrics on YouTube. And I decided to look up my metrics for 2020 and see how it compared to 2019. Worse or better? Uh, interesting. Technically better, but by varying degrees. Uh, okay. the total amount of views I got on the channel in 2019 was 10.8 million, whereas in 2020 was 12.6, which is an increase of about 16%. Is good. Uh, watch time in 2019 was 2.7 million hours. In 2020 was 3.3 million hours, an increase of 18%. Subscribers gained in 2019, 25,000. Subscribers gained in 2020, 27,000. Is everyone enjoying these analytics? Uh, the revenue. Revenue. Total amount earned. 20000 38000 Dollars? Yes. An when increase of over 80%. When do you get that money? Because I don't remember ever getting that... <laughs> I don't remember you ever getting that money. Because if you had that money, we wouldn't be dealing with teeth right now. I... It, I also have to pay for the car. I have been paying for dental things all the year. I was talking about, like, in the beginning of the year when I was saying that I, I found out about a bunch of stuff I need to do with my teeth. Well, I, I'd already knew, but I had, like, the bill in front of me, like, this is going to cost this damn much. And people were saying, hey, we could do a GoFundMe if you need it. And I was like, I probably won't, actually. Things are looking pretty good at the start of this wonderful 2020 here. Uh, <laughs> things didn't exactly go too well in every way, but that stayed pretty damn good. Uh, I remember so, Decker saying that. I remember Decker saying that, and I and it. Yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, Grey Turtle well, Entertainment says, "Sorry." Oh, uh, so there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of phrases we're gonna have to retire from our lexicon. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, avoid it like the plague. People don't do that. <laughs> I avoid things like the plague. I'm avoiding main storylines like the plague. No, you get in a big crowd and rush forward like, plague ain't gonna stop us. It's not even real. We're gonna just Naruto run. The plague can't get all of us. <laughs> wait, wait. Was attacking Area 51 this year or last year? I want to say it was last year. Yeah. Wait, no, when I mean last year, I mean 2020 or 2019. Yeah, tw yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, 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 that's 19. what I meant too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it was I, I still so, feel 2020-ish. You know? YouTube? Yeah, um, so the Grey Turtle Entertainment says, so can we get Decker, Cat, and Creepy to do a live reading of Rocky Horror Picture Show? Can we get a few more women in this? Because I can... Wait, actually, there's not a lot of women in Rocky Horror Picture Show. I can do them all. Well, <laughs> I, am, I am in favor of this. We need to do this. This needs to be a thing now. All right, Decker, get your corset out. We're going to make you Dr. Frankenfurter, unless you want Creepy to be Dr. Frankenfurter. And if so, we're going to need I more corsets. I can't fit in the corsets, and, oh. it, and it's at Decker's ah. anyway. Serious Sam says, Best YouTubers ever. Aw, why do none of you like my <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much. Seriously. Yeah. Um, Sebastian Iman donated another Canadian dollar. We can buy one whole Canadian stick of gum. <laughs> nice. I like Canadian. Might be able to buy a coffee crisp uh, candy bar. Yeah, I uh, found out recently. I found out this year that uh, there are candy bars that are taste like coffee, and have coffee in them. I gotta go uh, up to Canada just to get some damn ketchup chips. Yeah, I need to go to Canada so I can get some good ass poutine and some beaver tail. Oh, poutine! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, th I thought you. I thought thick black daddy was rubbing off on you. <laughs> Send it, Decker. Go to the corner. <laughs> I don't think that that's actually the corner. It's <laughs> close enough of a corner in elementary school. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, uh. So, uh, motorcycle you donated two dollars. Going Muppet. Muppet, Decker, and Creepy Critic Show. That's just Waldorf and Saul back. What are you talking about? The uh, guy gets pulled through a hole like he gets bent backwards in half. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, Eddie Hart is asking, what was the movie where the guy gets pulled through a hole like he gets bent backwards in half? Uh, you're gonna... Oh, oh, what's, wait, 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 wait. What's, we're talking, like, was that Stephen King's It, like, 90s miniseries where... He's getting sucked yeah, into the pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got pulled into the piping, into the sewer pipe, and, just, and he was pulled in backwards. And yeah, yeah, that, that, that. Yeah. That was uh, if that was if that's the right answer, I'm going to be very surprised. <laughs> I'm going to be impressed with you. That was our very first Stephen King. <laughs> Do a live reading of Rocky Horror Picture Show, but acted out with Decker's Barbie collection. No, his head touched his ass. Oh. No, wait, that was... I was thinking it was Wishmaster. No, that guy was getting f***ed in the ass. No, he fucked his own ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not asking about the beaver tail. The poutine is the thing that concerns you, not the beaver tail. I was told, like, hey, I, I was like... Uh... When, when I was finally feeling well enough to tweet and let everyone know I was alive, in case anyone was worried because I was gone from the internet for a while after New Year's... Uh, oh. With my hangover, I was like, the, 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 the split pea soup and Sprite to the rescue. And I mean one, don't, what? No, dude, don't do that. Split pea soup when you have a stomach ache? I you needed, remember? I hadn't eaten anything all day because I was in bed like. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Next time, go find your local Hispanic community and ask for some menudo. I'm Guaranteed to cure hangovers. Menudo? Minuto. Why putting stomach in my stomach? Good idea. <laughs> because it's a very fatty food, and it's actually very good for hangovers. It's split okay? pea and ham. It's peas. Yeah, but it doesn't have that normal thing I don't like about peas. You know, the, the, the penis. Decker likes to eat pea. I like to eat split pea. <laughs> not, not pea. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, live stream your blackouts and cash in on the super chest. Uh, Does that count as an AFK stream if you? Yes. I mean, I mean if you're unconscious. Yes. yes. But what if you're like count. shifting in and out of consciousness? Still yes. Uh, how does a Latin boy band cure hangovers? Oh uh, yeah, I was about to say, isn't that the name of a boy band? Ricky Martin was in Menudo. Um, Rick no. Ricky Martin was in Menudo. Yeah, yeah. So was but, uh, Julio yeah, so, Iglesias, so, I think. I was told that I should have had ginger ale and poutine. And I was like, yeah. oh, I didn't have ginger ale because I wasn't about to get up and try and get in my car to go down to the store to get ginger ale. <laughs> I think that would have been a bad idea. And I didn't have poutine because I wasn't about to get up and get in my car and go out of state to get poutine. <laughs> Decker, it's easy to make poutine. French fries, cheese, gravy, beef gravy, of course. I don't know these things. Decker, do I need to do a video of me teaching you how to make poutine? Yes, Hello. and the knife. What? <laughs> and Decker. the Asiago cheese bread. Okay, Decker, the Asiago cheese bread recipe is coming I'm soon. still I'm pissed off that they stopped carrying that at Panera Bread. It was literally the only thing I would order. I didn't even know they had other food. You also need to do the video where you show him how to properly wield a knife. I've already done that one. That's on YouTube. It's just under private. It's under unlisted, so Decker can be the only one who sees it. So oh, you're sitting you there know. looking at zero views. You're like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this video, Decker, watch. 
<laughs> Sebastian Iman donated two Canadians. He donated two whole Canadians. <laughs> and they, he asked, uh, should they attempt to bring back Wishmaster? Wasn't that Wonder Woman 1984? What, Wishmaster? Yes. I don't know. I haven't seen Wonder Woman 1984 because I do not have an HBO account. The plot surrounds a stone that no. you make wishes and they turn out to have like a bad connotation to them. Oh my yeah, god, it's almost like you should word your wishes very well. Um, so, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh yeah, Decker, how many more videos do I have to teach you how to cook? <laughs> okay, so, I need to learn how to use a knife. You already recorded and posted that. I need to watch that. <laughs> almost, there's something else. The trailer, yeah, it can't be that important. Uh, there's the Asiago cheese loaf. There's a poutine. Mm -hmm. There's a menudo. I don't know how to make menudo. I asked the local Hispanics to do it because I am not going to get into that territory. Bring them over and have them teach me how to make menudo. First, get a goat stomach. No, wait, pig, cow stomach. Sorry, I was thinking oh. how to make haggis, which I do know how to make, and I hate that I know how to make. Teach me how to make haggis. I've, oh, I've always wanted to try haggis. It sounds delicious. It's also illegal in some places because they're seen as a health risk. Yep. <laughs> Teach Decker how to make gator bites. Teach Decker how to make swamp cabbage. Oh, boy. Decker is just going to randomly see me teleport into your kitchen going, Yoink! We're learning! Oh, yeah, but in uh, while Nintendo's been going around being complete assholes... Assholes? Uh, here's a nice thing they did. Hey, hospital-safe consoles across America. I don't know how a console isn't safe for hospitals, but uh, Nintendo Pointy figured corner. out how to make them safe. Pointy corner. Oh, it's basically so they're set up in an angle so the kids don't have to overstrain themselves while they play. I'm saying you may have and thought also, the Nintendo Switch was the ultimate portable console, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Nintendo's Starlight Gaming Station. Not a new console per se, but a special version of the Switch designed for hospitals and healthcare centers comes equipped with 25 games and can be rolled around to different rooms. So it's a less portable switch, actually, but, uh... Yeah. It's cool. cool. That's still nice. Or you could do what I did when I went to the hospital, take my switch with me, and then flirted with a really cute dirt. Well, if you're a kid who doesn't have a switch, but you're also in the hospital. Okay, good point. Like, I mean, that's, that's one of the things that on the Xbox I donate to frequently. That's a very nice thing about Xbox. You, you just make you, Microsoft reward points like integrated into it, and every like couple of weeks they're like, "Hey, we'll match your donation if you donate to this charity." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll donate a shitload to that charity." There you go. Decker donating to ki giving kids gun foundation. Get cut. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> That's my favorite charity. <laughs> oh, I could teach Decker how to make deep fried mac and cheese. Thank you, audience, for reminding deep, me about you that. You can one. deep fry mac and cheese. Yes. Why didn't I know about this? This, okay. this is a thing. <laughs> yes, Decker, it is a thing. Okay. You just like but make mac and cheese and then you bread it and then you drop no, it in no, the no, fryer Decker, for a bit and. Decker, Decker. Okay, you're gonna have to understand. You can, you can't do stovetop mac and cheese. You got to do the baked mac and cheese. No. Oh, okay. okay. And That's then, something else and I got to learn how to make. <laughs> anyway, then you eat some of it, but then the next day you slice it up into squares. Do you have to eat some of it? No, you don't, but you have to wait for it to be the next day so it can get all nice and congeal -y. So it's also uh, nice to just have make enough mac and cheese so you can have a nice dinner, and you can also deep-fry it later. Yes. And then... So it's deep-fried leftover mac and cheese. Yes. Okay. And then you slice it into squares, and then you cover it in panko. Deep-fry! Ah. Or pan-fry if you want to be healthier. Chopped heart and lungs boiled in a wee sheep stomach tastes as good as it sounds. <laughs> you forgot the onion and the oats, my friend. You have to also have onion and oats inside the goat's stomach. And then you boil it for three hours or three days, but not anymore. more you get the back of the hand. <laughs> yes, you have to do the ridiculous Scottish accent when making haggis. Ah. Uh, anyway. I have to go. I have to go pick my godmother up. He's safe. So, what Creepy is doing right now is figuring out what he's doing, but also, in the description, the link to Creepy's channel goes to Midnight Wank Theater. It is still up! You can still subscribe to the man. In yeah. some form. Why do people want me to make a cooking show? No! No, no, I'm not making a cooking show. 
One, hey. I have to clean. I have to wash my kitchen. I don't want to have to clean my kitchen. Thank you all, and uh, this has been fun. Uh, thank you all who donated very much, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you. Also, Decker, I want to ask you something uh, when I get back. I have something right. important to ask. Okay. What size game suit do you wear? <laughs> okay. I so... feel like it's like, can't you make a cooking show? No. Can't you make a cooking blog? No. Let's see. I'll uh, teach friends how to cook, but I ain't going to teach anyone else. So is it not too much news I got kicking around here? This is a Halloween director in talks to film the new The Exorcist movie. I'm like, good, they still have work. Yeah. Anonymous right, there's Sins very goes, little I know about this to get excited over. Uh, Anonymous Sins goes, Decker, would you like to try a cheese with maggots in it? Yes, that's a real thing. Yes, it is a, I think, either an Italian or a French cheese. And it is illegal to be sold into a, be used in America. You actually have to go to the country to enjoy that cheese. Now, there's also this little bit on Pokemon Secrets of the Jungle, Pokemon the movie Secrets of the Jungle. It will re reveal new information about Ash's father. He was a man. <laughs> now, <laughs> I, I've fallen out of uh, Pokemon like lore, so I don't know if there's any information that they've brought up recently. Nope. Nope. But, you know, as far as I know, he was just like non-existent. It's just not not brought up. Nothing. He's just not there. He, they never talk about him. Nothing happened. It's, Ash is going on an adventure. He's got his mom at home. That's it. Yeah, people theorize that actually Professor Oak could be his dad. Yeah, they theorize this. Movie. But and uh, then one person. There was the Pokemon musical that was produced oh, entirely yeah. in America, and they did have a "Here's your dad" moment there. You remember what yeah. that was? Giovanni, the yeah. leader of. Yeah, that that was the big reveal in the the American made Pokemon musical was Giovanni is your father. It's like that's the clichéest fucking it's, shit. Can't Giovanni just be a dick? Well, Giovanni <laughs> is a dad actually. Your the antagonist in Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal is Giovanni's kid. You didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that. Decker, you okay? Decker. I didn't remember that. I I, I did play that. Well, the thing is, it didn't get, it was said but not confirmed in game until Heart Gold Soul Silver. And then you actually do see a scene with Giovanni. Uh, that Soul Silver was the one I played the shit out of. And you don't. <laughs> and you I don't, don't remember. Decker. Decker. Tara. Decker. Tara wants out. Tara wants out. You can see her little kitty eyes, like right there. I do. Just like. <laughs> just like. <laughs> The door has eyes. Well, at least it's not the hills anymore. Oh, but I like yeah. that Mario level. He can't hear me. That joke was fun. It's okay. You never yelled at a blind girl at a show. Listen, I've watched nearly like all of Gordon Ramsay's content. He's never yelled at a blind woman. Lou is just there like, huh? What? I am majestic. Feed me. Lou? Her ear is derped. <laughs> Lou, you doggy butt. Doggy butt. Lou is being <laughs> insulted. You're insulting uh, Lou. But she's a doggy butt. Ah, uh, oh well. Uh, so what was it? Yeah, it's revealed in Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. So. That mean dead Ash's brother? The musical is not canon, dude. The musical is not canon. It is not an official product of Nintendo, therefore. It's just like how the My Hero Academia musical is not canon to the My Hero Academia universe. <sighs> what? What about the comics where Misty had gigantic tits? Semi-canon. Okay. <laughs> That's a complicated one. <laughs> Giovanni Ash's uh, Giovanni Ash's dad? Hell, hell no. Misty has huge knockers. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, the problem is the people who worked on that comic. Well, you've seen how they draw the women. Yeah. It's the... Matt, you're not an official product of Nintendo. <laughs> I don't see the gold seal on you. No. How old is Misty again? Fourteen. Lou. I think. She's like 13, 14. Is that your fourth? Ash is 10. Misty. Ash has been like, 10 for like 25 years. 
Oh god, you're gonna make me go into the freaking <laughs> Bulbapedia and look up freaking. Come here, Bulbapedia. Make the uh, bed. It's it's more comfortable if you don't. Yeah, it is. I'd like to point out an eleven year old with huge knockers is not a weird thing. Florida. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's always the Florida's fault. Oh, she's ten. Sorry. I thought she was older than that. The knockers lied to me. Well, she is older in uh Heart the... Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, in the game she's older, but in the anime she's still ten. Yeah. In the game she's like right, she grew up a little between red yeah. and red and blue and heart gold heart gold so that happened in in yeah. the games. Types no, in Google, want... does Misty Big Boobs real? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. But no. anyway, any who anyhow, anyway. Oh, and her age isn't actually stated in the games. Huh. Hmm. But, but, nevertheless, but nevertheless. But you can still kick your ass if you have a fire type. Got about 30 minutes to go. I should talk about the things I'm working on. Uh, right now, my plans for January are, you know all that shit I wanted to do in October and all that shit I wanted to do in November but didn't? Mm, yeah, it's that stuff that I make fun of you for. Yes, yes. Well, you got Candyman 2 right here. Candyman. Farewell to the flesh. Bye-bye, skin. You don't need you it. At... No, you don't. The skin is not protecting your body from germs and evil and dirt. So yeah, I got Candyman 2 here. Gonna do Candyman 3. Uh, also want to continue doing the uh, kaiju flicks that I uh, I was trying to do for November and only did like one. No. Uh. I did Rego, and everyone's like, you gotta do Raiga, and I'm like, it's right here, and then they just... No, 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 Decker, it's Raiga here. It's Raiga here. It's right here. That... Wordplay! You funny. Do not play with my words. I will play with your words until the cows come home. Why is there a cow in my house? Crikey! It's the Dragon Warrior! Dragon Warrior. What? I'm confused. They over-sexualized Sailor Moon's transformation and she's 14 years old. Think about that guy who watches the show and feels the shame. Yeah. It's, it's, she's a yeah. magical girl. It's a magical girl transformation. And, and they said, and no upskirt. No. No, no. Upskirt was okay. Was not. She wasn't happy with the upskirts that happened in the anime. But the creator of Inuyasha, the, that manga, she went hardcore on the anime to make sure Kagome did not get over-sexualized or had any upskirt shots. And when she would find out, she went on a tirade. <laughs> she would be like, I said no Kagome upskirt shots. <laughs> None of the women got upskirt shots and she made, like she would step her foot down. And I was like, I love this woman. <laughs> but uh, what was the word I was thinking of a thing? Oh, yes. So I got the Candyman series I want to finish in January. I also got more kaiju flicks that I also want to do in January. I said, th th there's a whole thing that's like, I know the horror things tend to do better, and with YouTube, they want all of your videos to always do better than the last, otherwise you're doing terrible. But I'm just here like, if I can get it to doing one video a week consistently, again, then that's going to help the channel out a lot more. And I can do some things that aren't horror for some weeks. Uh, Timothy Armstrong, when it comes to the reboot of She-Ra, just because I have this hair doesn't mean I've watched She-Ra. I haven't watched She-Ra yet. And I just, I, I, I do this review channel and my whole thing is just I review what I feel like watching. And I know yeah. the horror has done well, but yeah. sometimes I want to watch the Toyminator. Sometimes I want to watch the Starshipy Troopies. You want to watch the Jackie Chan. The Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan did horrible. <laughs> well, it did also help that they kept freaking blocking your videos like crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, so many you. damn, so many damn uh, copyright issues and community guidelines issues on Jackie uh -huh. Chan movies. Ooh, we really the Ernest movies. In the meantime, oh, fucking I spit in your grave. Perfectly fine. There it goes. No issue. Sailor Moon is not actually naked when transforming Southern Yankee. It's a silhouette of colorful light. It's not actually She's nudity. Sparkly. Actually, Sparkly yeah, she's spark sparks. Sparkly color silhouette. That's what she is. She's not actually naked naked. If she was naked, it would be like Cutie Honey. 
Oh, Lord, Cutie Honey. Ah, Cutie Honey. No, don't I reviewed you Cutie watch, Honey. You watch, No, the live-action movie you've reviewed. You've it was still called movie. Cutie Honey. Yes, but the anime, she flashes her tits in her transformation sequence. I would prefer that. No, Deckard. No. Yes, I would. No. I know what I like. Decker, have you reviewed Deep Blue Sea 3? There's a Deep Blue Sea 3? I still haven't because I want to get it in at least HD. I want to see about getting it in 4K. And for fuck's sake, they just don't frick it. Let me, I'm going to look for it right the fuck now. Oh, God. Help me, audience. Say Deep Muppet Blue, Blue Sea oh my 3 God. 4K. Decker. Deep Blue Muppet. Sea Original Hunter Killer Expendables 3 Elf. The Meg. L. Okay, so can't find the 4K. Deep Blue C3 Blu ray. Hey, there's so a three pack with Deep Blue C, The Lost Ki Long Kiss Goodnight, and Snakes on a Plane. There's the original Deep Blue C Blu ray. There's the Deep Blue C3 film collection that includes Deep Blue C3. It's a British. Uh, it's a region two that doesn't matter for on my ripping software, but this fucking thing is forty seven dollars. Vivid donated two dollars and said, "Decker, will you review the Fast and the Furious franchise?" That's a summer. That's a summer. So yeah, that's that's the only one I found. I'm trying to find, I want Deep Blue Sea three in four K. Personally, I'll accept it in ten eighty p. But the only way I can find Deep Blue Sea three is in the three film co collection from the fucking British print. For damn near fifty dollars, well, actually fifty dollars. This is no fifty-one dollars. It's four dollars shipping, and then you add tax, and yeah. So yeah, I'd like to review Deep Blue Sea three. Over fifty dollars for Deep Blue Sea three. Not worth it. Yeah, I'm like, why am I? I Tammy the T Rex. Get... This fucking thing. This was thirty dollars, but it was the four K Blu Ray. So I'm like, okay. The fact that it even exists on 4K Blu-ray, I was impressed by. New Doc Prime donated two pounds going, wouldn't 4K crap still be crap in more detail? But he wants the black variation. Well, it's, it's, it's the, 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 the high dynamic range and you just, mm, the colors, beautiful. Decker, Decker. Oh, also DVD Fab had an update, thankfully. This this one, uh, I it took a whole damn day to rip because it wanted to do it in H.265, but it produced a very small file and I was able to convert the Dolby Vision uh, color to HDR10, which is important because PowerDirector, while it finally is HDR compatible, it does not like Dolby Vision and it makes everything look just washed out. Uh, Serious Sam, about the new Tremors movie, Decker can't watch it because he doesn't have Netflix and no matter how many times I'm trying to give him a hint, I'll let him borrow my Netflix for a while, he won't watch it. Because he can't rip it. Right? Rip. Rip. And tear. And tear. Until it is done. Rip and tear, Decker. Rip, rip and tear. Rip and tear until it is done. Thank you, Decker. Yay, Doom Eternal. Now everyone's going to ask me to finish that Let's Play. No one's going to ask you to finish that Let's Play. Yeah, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. Well, every time I post something on the gaming channel, I, that's, that's the comment. Hey, Decker, when the hell are you going to finish the Doom Eternal Let's Play? You've got two levels to go. <laughs> Decker's crying when he plays. Also, wasn't um, Tammy... I thought Tammy and the T-Rex had a skateboarding T-Rex in that movie. Was I thinking of a different T-Rex kid no. movie? Was that Theodore Rex? Cut all! Oh! How many freaking movies were there where humans were in T-Rex bodies? Oh, God, what was that one movie? I wanted to do what? it, but it was, I couldn't, couldn't find it with English subtitles or anything. Uh, there's this Japanese T-Rex thing... Uh, Japanese T-Rex thing, brought to you by Decker. Uh, bu -bu 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 no, not the girl that transforms into a T-Rex. Adventures in Dino City is one. The... Oh, yeah, it's that's this a little video Christmas game. movie. I re... Next thing you know, Decker's going to review the time the girl went on a date with Godzilla. Remember that news article? I like that news article. It was a nice little fluff piece. <sighs> Man, I'm seeing all these dinosaur movies pop up in search, and I'm like, eh, reviewed that, reviewed that, reviewed that, reviewed that. <sighs> Throws Decker Dinotopia. Keeps throwing Dinotopia at Decker's head. Yeah, ran out of time, Mrs. Dinosemba. I'm sorry. 
Watch the David Thewlis goodness. I, I'm still just happy that I was able to get out a second frickin' video for Dino Semper. Uh, hey, I did 24 jokes while you were doing it and tweeting it live. Horror of the Loch Ness. Uh, no, we're that we're back. I, I, I own that movie on VHS. It's not that one. No, I'm thinking it's the one with Whoopi Goldberg. There's that one that has a T-Rex in it. Lou's doing that thing where she just stretches her legs out. Listen, she liked to stretch her leg out real far. Don't question it. She a long dog. Lou. Sorry. Hey, Lou. You a long dog? Yeah, you a long dog. No. I can't. <laughs> Decker, you just need another webcam that's aimed right at the bed where Lou is, and then you can just switch to it, <laughs> and you don't have to do this. I Decker, don't. I can't afford another webcam. Deep Blue C3 costs over $50. <laughs> Oh, Eddie Herta says you could do Land Before Time. Oh, wait, God. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. When we say Land Before Time, do we just mean the first one, or do we have to do all 13 of them? See, the first one is about depression. The rest of them will just get me depressed. <laughs> Chomper was good in the second one. Don't insult Chomper. Ever, uh, Eddie Herta just said just do the first one. <laughs> first would be preferable. God. Don't, that movie is depressing. It's just like, ah! It's oh it's the kid's goodness. version of Devil Man. The moon doesn't break in half and he doesn't have sex with his half-sister. May as well. Or cousin, or whoever she is to him. Lou. Hi. Iron Sky 2 has Nazis riding dinosaurs at the center of the earth. Doggy butt. It's okay. You can stretch it. You can come up here and we're still doing the show. Yeah, we're doing the show. Everyone can see you. <laughs> he doesn't have on her nice outfit, Decker. <laughs> it's okay, Lou. Come on. Come on, doggy butt. What kind of dog is she? Adorable and likes to poop on floor. That's the type of dog oh, she is. She ain't not for hound dogs. Rocking all the time. <laughs> Thank you! Someone appreciates my musical reference, music references. Uh, Decker should not review the Leprechaun franchise because he's gonna need to get drunk while doing it. Uh, no. What you doing? What you doing, doggy butt? What you doing, you little doggo? Nice pupper. Good pupper. Uh. <laughs> Fluffy pupper. No. I see you gave her a nice little pink collar. Yeah. With little hearts on it. And it's got her name on there. Aww. They say Lou. <laughs> now everyone knows ah. the dog's name. <laughs> now everyone in China knows you have a dog ah. named Lou. Ah. Ah. Lou, you silly ass dog. You She's an going ass dog. for your you jugular, silly. Decker. Yeah, she does that. She's a hunting dog. Uh, Kurt, <laughs> she's going for your jugular. Should you not be a little concerned that this might turn into Cujo? Uh, I try, have to stop her when she goes after the ducks like that. She can chase them down real fast. Those ducks most likely are going through so much trouble. Can everyone <laughs> stop listing dinosaur movies? Lou, 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 Lou. I, I, I keep I keep her away from the ducks. I have to walk her on a leash sometimes if the ducks start walking up the lawn at us. But fortunately, the ducks also can fly. She helped teach them. Good duck. Lou, Decker, Lou. you will regret watching Leprechaun in Space. Leprechaun in Space is like the least of the crazy ones. And not if that's actually the first video of mine to go viral. <laughs> I won't regret it. Wait, actually, I kind of still regretted the uh, I Spit in Your Grave when that did do exceedingly well because YouTube decided to just share it out everywhere. Very weird. Uh, okay, and it's not like I didn't regret that. <laughs> John Washburn asked me, Kat, when will you do a movie review? Uh-uh. No. No, because see, I have this problem where I'll start going off topic and start blathering about everything else and not focus on the movie. And if I read a script, I sound like I'm reading from a book. So I don't have any of the sweet, adorable personality that everyone apparently loves. <laughs> Take it, you want me to open the door, Lou. Are you thirsty? Oh, God, Jess Burn Jesse Burns. I think, no, I think no. she wants her water. It's out there. Okay. Okay, I'll just... No, Jesse okay, Burns, Lou. no, not... You know there's like six books to that series, right? 
Jesse Burns. It's a horrible. Oh God. Animal exchange. You get one dog, and you get a. You give out dog, you get cat. Yes. Dare just okay. came in. <laughs> Jesse Burns. No flowers in the attic is what we call insanity. It's basically like preach. It is like the. Oh, it's like Twilight, if you will. It was very popular amongst women, although the books are horrifying. Don't read Flowers in the Attic, Ducker, unless you care for your sanity and don't want to just basically throw things out of a window. Did I hate Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? I don't know if hate's the right word, as much as it just... It's... Massively uh, annoyed you? I'm not angry, son. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in a lot of things. Finish the Evil Bong reviews eventually? I do hope to. The, I, why am I looking forward to Evil Bong? God damn it. Well, Decker, did I absolutely evil bong? like the, the first movie was like surprisingly good, and all the rest of them not. The third, I uh, think, was better than people will give it credit for. But other than that, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Timothy Armstrong just goes, "Hey, cat, you and Decker should review the Hercules and Xena shows." I think Creepy would be better for that, not Decker. No offense, Decker. Hmm. Unless you want to review the Xena movies, I want to review my book. It's flat and doesn't exist and is pale as hell and has a crack in it. I've reviewed your butt. I feel, believe that you have not given my butt enough credit. Mm. Oh, sorry. It has a weird mole on one of the cheeks. <laughs> Which franchise is the most inexplicable? The Howling se sequels, the Turbulence Trilogy, or Boa versus Python? I thought that was Monty Python. I'm like, what's the problem with Monty Python? Monty Python would be a good movie. See, I'm I'm confused because I need to know more about all of them. That's a good point. The Howling sequels I know of, because I know the sequel, which is called Your Sister is a Werewolf, has, uh, oh, crap. Who's the guy who played Sar on the White? Me? Becker. Who played Sar on the White in Lord of the Rings? I think I did. And the OG Dracula in the British movies. That was Christopher Lee. Me. Christopher yeah. Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know that the sequel has Christopher Lee in it, and they keep using a lot of vampire lore with these werewolves that they're fighting, and it's so boring. It also has tits in it. Oh, okay. And the credit sequence is basically time to music, and in between the beats, flashing tits over and over again. What genre is this? It's supposed to be horror. But the scene where the woman takes her top off and her tits are out, it's timed to the music of the credits. Decker now wants to do the Howling series. It's going to require a lot of little smiley faces. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I believe I can do this. You believe? You know it's only the sequel that has that, not the first one. And you still have to do the first one because, you know. These tips there might be, be worth it. <laughs> they're, they're very nice breasts, at least according to the reviews I've seen of it, which actually only cover it with smiley faces. No, sorry. They covered it with wolves because it's a werewolf movie. But, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Serious Sam wants to know if you'll ever play him, play any more of him. I mean, Serious Sam 4. Oh, yeah. I really need to. I gotta get uh, kind of aligned with uh, Thick Black Daddy, but also... Uh. Also, it's just, you know, trying to get this dog on a schedule as well. It's been better now over the last uh, couple weeks after this, the initial, you know, getting her house broken and taking her walkies and coming back and then figuring out when she needs to go, when, when how much time she needs to play, and then when she can come back and just kind of chill for a while. Oh. Versus the, yeah. I always want to be outside. You have to be outside. I, I could poop any time anywhere. I don't know. It was like... And all, all that fun. Josh Washburn said, uh, for the Howling 2 lady who shows her tits, a uh, big implant B-movie woman, she's blonde. Ah. Uh. So, I don't know why you're trying to convince Decker to watch the Howling movie. I think me mentioning the tit flashing was enough. <laughs> uh, New Doc Prime donated to... Mm. Acid Reflex is a bitch. Um, New Doc Prime donated two pounds going, don't review the Last Species sequels. Oh, but I have them. Oh. Oh, yeah, you only did the first two. Yeah, I was in intending on do continuing on that. And uh, it's... Things coming up, plans coming up, specials coming up, and then 
me just not getting shit done. <laughs> also, I'm surprised you didn't have to censor the cocoon scene where the girl comes out of it in the first species movie because the cocoon does kind of look like a vagina. Well, it's not a vagina. That's the thing. Yeah, but it still looks vaginal. I'm surprised YouTube didn't get all crazy about that. I think right now, it depends. sometimes YouTube is just perfectly fine with a straight vagina. <laughs> I'm not going to test that theory. Ooh, you could do Ark of the Killer Whale, which was a joke. Have you off. seen a lot of people's Let's Plays of uh, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077 when it's yeah, not a... just freaking out? You mean when there's when they forget to turn on streamer mode? Ah, oh, Lou's asking to go outside. So you want to just stop yeah, we should that? probably just stop it here. So yeah, we kind of out of news. <laughs> but yeah, we Cre talking. Creepy's channels, uh, Creepy's uh, Midnight Wank Theater channel is in the description. So watch that. So you can still follow him there. I uh, got Candyman coming up and a little more kaiju and all that fun stuff. Uh, over on my channel because we have to uh, today is the first video that shows up of my playthrough of the game Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines that came out in 2004 on the Valve engine on the Steam of uh, the uh, Source engine and I will be playing that with a friend of mine known as Ark who is a huge fan of Vampire the Masquerade and loves giving out all the lore while I play it and helps make sure I keep track and enjoy the first 30 minutes because all we do is talk about the different vampire clans he's trying to convince me on which one to play when I already knew which one I was going to play because I heard blood magic and I was like I'm in it's like, but don't you want to know about the others? No! And so. that will be coming up on the weekends. And also, uh, I fin I did the thumbnail for Musical Hell's next review. Her 100th review. Congratulations for her. My Brutal Doom t number 24 video got copyright claim. Brutal Doom? Yeah. Brutal Doom. It's a mod for Doom that makes um. everything bleed more. Oh. So, um, so this game from the 90s is got a copyright claim. <laughs> yeah, so um, again, Diva will be, uh, Musical Hell will be doing her 100th review of the 2019 movie Cats. I had to make the thumbnail for that. Oh, fun. I had to look at those cat monstrosities. They're, They're trying to cat. die, right? Yes, the whole point of Cats is basically people pleading their case to go on to the next life. Oh, fun. Okay. Because so, they, have, they have nine lives, so basically they're going on to their next life. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> One day I will tell you the whole story of Cat's Decker. I've been Ever Shadow. Me. I've been Cat. And, and remember. remember. Happy 2021. May we not die in a fly, fiery garbage ball. Remember, it's still up to us to make sure of that. Yes. Yeah. Only you can prevent forest fires. I mean... Yeah, fuck it.